entire time. I crack my fingers like a glow stick and I just light up. <laughs> you get given a good shake and they snap your spine and you just brighten up. We should be coming up on the kitchen, right? No, you went around the other way. You. No, we went, we went towards the kitchen. Hang on. I'm deadly sure this direction was the kitchen. Wait, let me... Stop right there. Let me fucking check. <laughs> Go what? Go clockwise. Gee. Ah, uh, motherfucker. Kitchen and then command center. Alright, well, it's okay, because the kitchen... Let me, let me grab that up right now. On my it fucking... twice as many monsters. Roll initiative. <laughs> Roll double initiative. Kitchen is blocked, and we can't go that way, so we have to have gone this way anyway. So, before you've gotten to this place, okay, I'd say yes, you would have gotten to the kitchen. So, you go, you guys can all stand where the fuck you are in the movie. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, so, the canteen itself, I, I'll say, like, you can run and all that such. The canteen itself is a large room that is filled with long tables and benches. And inside, there is, inside the canteen is a simple kitchen. And to Lina's great happiness, there is a lot of ancient kitchenware here. It doesn't look like it's in bad condition. So it's like pots, woks, and all that kind of stuff, the ancient times. What you're telling me is that we can find the ancient artifact soup spoon here. You can. The ladle. You can use it to deladle an enemy's turn. <laughs> Whoa. Scoop out their brains with it. That sounds like a very Kuposhak thing of you to fucking <laughs> say. No, you will not jump on my lap. I have a book. He can. No. Sorry, that book won't stop me. No. You're done for. What if book was removed then no still um you can look around here but as much as you look you will not find a single ration of grub and again as you continue through the area there are just more bodies upon bodies i think someone beat us to the food does anybody remember anything triggering anybody you asking that in character or to me? Yeah, in character. Okay. Do we roll for memory? As much as you would like to, you don't remember anything about this place. Nothing here necessarily feels familiar. Nothing sparks any memories. We had to have been here for like at least ten years. Surely one of us should remember this place at least a little. All got brain dead. Isn't that the way, you know, being a person works? You usually remember places? It's I'm... easier to remember things that happened more recently. I'm not sure it's about you. Long -term. But I have no memories of this place. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really not uh, not too keen on anything here. Seems pretty new to me. I feel like I would have remembered all the skeletons. I know they're a pretty normal thing to see, but, you know. I would be careful. This place is littered with the ancients. Perhaps the yes. ghosts still worm here. This place is enormous. What do you think they did here? <laughs> what do you think they did here? Okay. And um then yes, uh you may continue through the kitchens on towards the command center, the command bridge. Where you are currently, and you may continue moving again. Oh, we're in the command bridge. No wonder it looks so sinister. I was like, this doesn't look like a kitchen. <laughs> I mean these look like big ass tables over here, so I was like, yeah, this is the kitchen. So for the command bridge. You can see that the metal door that leads into this area has been battered down by force from the outside, 
and around the gate, and this is, I've only put a couple of bodies because that's so much fucking effort. Around the gate, there are many corpses, both civilian and soldier. Inside the command bridge, there are screens, terminals, telephones, file cabinets, and computers. Most of the equipment is vandalized and covered by a thick layer of dust. The dead lie everywhere here, mummified by the dry air. It's fun. You may enter. Really wanted whatever was in there. Oh my god, there's like a Fallout style skeleton sitting in the chair over there. I'm more Ooh. concerned with this dark. I'll be back in a sec, I nearly fell off my stupid fucking chair with a broken off fucking stupid <laughs> fucking wheel. Do you want us to stop moving until you get back? Uh, you can I'm explore. Use... Uh, yeah, you can explore Is and if you have to questions. run into here. Uh, not at the moment. Okay. And I can tell you off. Yeah, yeah. We're safe. Don't worry, guys. Hmm. Alright. Proceed to do my duty by standing in the middle and spinning slowly. <laughs> you make a good lighthouse. I don't see anything alive in there. So we only ever find one of these helmets. They're quite nice. Like, so never. <laughs> hey, that's my mutation. Don't wear it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they have a giant vault door behind them. Do you think it's going to contain some kind of hideous beast? Do you know what I mean, hideous beast? Like a night snake or something? I mean, I assume it's probably going to be kind of like that giant robot that we fought. Surely I have to have at least one of those down here. Maybe they are broken. <sighs> Maybe we never stayed up here. Maybe we were in the lower part of this place. Hmm. Zine, if you look at it, even for 10 years, it's in pretty bad shape. I'm sure that we weren't living up here. It's these all, um, dead people are older than us, so they were dead when we were around. Imagine we did next to them. They've been yeah, they've been dead for so long, it's unlikely we ever met them in our lives. Unless this is a massive plot hole. Ah, oh, surely such a thing wouldn't exist. Surely. Surely Jesse read ahead and fixed the right. plot before <laughs> we stumbled across it. I really expected there to be a lot more, you know, functional artifacts around here as well. But everything's in such a bad state. The plots were pretty impressive. I mean, yeah, but like, the ancients' weapons, they seem to love those things, but yet... They all seem to be in such a bad shape. We might not have been the first people to find the key. I somehow doubt that. Surely you'd want to live in here if you found this place. After you get rid of the rats, it's pretty safe. On our back, sort of that. We're ready to open the vault door. Okay, so. Uh, what, what's Chester doing over there? Logan? What's it to you? Uh, you blow up now. So, <laughs> what you are looking at right now, Chester, in front of you. Let me grab the book. In that desk sits a corpse, of course, 
who is dressed in a suit and tie, and he's reclined on a chair. He has an obvious gunshot wound to his head, and as you peer over the desk, you see a revolver on the floor. Mine? On the desk is a printout of a computer logbook. Is this bullet wound like side of the head? Yep. Suicide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, can I... Does any, of, does any of the information make sense to me, or do I really need to hand it to Cagley? You need to make a comprehension check. Oh my god, I'm so good at those! No! Ah, oh, you know what? I remembered how low my wits are. No, I will not push. <laughs> 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 you instantly break yourself from having a stroke. Um, I follow the high beam light back to Cagley and I'll hand him the... Found these on the desk. I oh, can't okay. read them. I will handle it carefully. Very well. And... Got a good one. You succeed. So, I will. Give you this, so that you may read it out loud if you wish. Ooh, a toy. And I show it to you. Oh my fuck! Oh man, this is really. <laughs> I'm on the terminal on GTFO, and I'm gonna read a fucking log. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it's a log book. As you Literally. skim through this, and you manage to find a page that hmm. seems the most recent and makes much sense. Yes. I will read it aloud. September 23. Still no contact with Command Center Alpha. It has been weeks now. Has it been attacked? Are they willfully ignoring us? Have they allied with our enemies? October 17. All contact with other Command Centers has ceased. Why is no one coming to our aid? Are we the only ones left alive? We have been forced to cut the food rations in half. The civilians starve. November 1. Renewed contact. Our technical staff today received a transmission from a facility which we have not had contact before. Call themselves Elysium, the land of eternal spring. They say they are part of a new alliance of shelters, the beginning of a new nation. They say they are coming to our rescue. For the first time in months, I feel hope. November 6. Again, silence. Elysium is no longer responding to our signals. What has happened? Have they abandoned us too? Has something happened to them? Or was this just some kind of cruel hoax? November 19. Today, civilians protested outside the command bridge, demanded food. I wanted to go out there and speak to them. Major Hendricks stopped me. Too dangerous, he said. November 23. The civilians are in uproar. I watch them on our monitors. They chant, smashing furniture. They must understand that Major Hendricks and his men had no choice. Some civilians attacked them, tried to take their weapons. That kind of behavior is unacceptable. It is unfortunate that blood was spilt. Major Hendricks has my full support in quenching this rebellion. My responsibility is not only to help the civilians. It goes far beyond that, to safeguard what is left of our nation, our knowledge, our culture, our civilization. My responsibility is the greatest one. Imagine. Why can't they understand? December 4. It will soon be over now. This will be my last entry in this log. I hear them beating at the door. It won't be long now. So many have died. Soon I will join them. But I won't let those bastards get to me. I have no regrets. I did my duty. History will be my judge. If mankind still has a future. Elysium? I check the back. Chester, you will recall the words Elysium as it came up with you most frequently. Uh, oh, most yeah, recently, the old sorry. Man. You read The Old Man's Mind, mm, one of the really. Titan powers, Elysium. Mm. 
Well, that should everyone else should remember that too because I told them about it immediately. At some point through the log book, you will find that there is a year printed. 2070. Do we know what year it was? You do not. The year for what is in this booklet, sorry, says 2072. 2072. How old did I think the skeletons were? You thought they were many, many, many decades old. You can't tell for sure, but... There's a fucking lot of years between when they died and when you found them. I think they've been dead for far longer than that. You may not know what the actual year is, but... They've been, you know, 30, 40 years, maybe. Probably more. While you're pondering on this, Chester... E? As you peer off past towards the computer, you see the dead black screen light up for a moment through the dust. Ah, hmm. oh, yikes. I immediately rush over to have a look. As you wipe away the dust, you'll see the terminal coming to life for a moment, and bright green text will appear against the black screen. Uh, guys, guys, <clears throat> help! Turn back while you still can. What the fuck? Uh, the computer screen. talking shit. <laughs> there is bright green text that appears on the screen that says turn back while you still can. Think someone is doing this? I have no idea. Oh, the screen sure must. The computer then shuts off. It's not a coincidence it turned on now. Do I know what a security camera is? I'd say that you may have seen one or two before, yeah. Is there one of them in the room? The light is quite dim here. You'd have to move around the whole room and have a look. What do you mean the light is quite dim? I have the helmet of being able to see perfectly. <laughs> oh yeah, that's mm. right, you do. Well, and you can identify technology. And, and you can, can endlessly identify. recharge it. <laughs> But regardless, the room is quite large, and you're not sure how big or small the cameras are, so you'll move around anyway, just to have a look. Um, just make... yeah, you know what? At some point, you will see that in the corner, around here, is a device that is watching. You'll notice that as you move away and further down the room, its lens follows. Everybody. The helmet's picking up that thing over there. It's looking at us. Somebody Which alive is looking. Is that a problem? Someone's well, here. No. It's connected to the terminal, then. That means that somebody's telling us to leave. Well, fuck that. We're not leaving. They really wanted us to leave to tell us why. Yeah. Turn back on the computer and tell us why. There is no more response from the computer. Well, we've come too far to simply leave, so we keep going. I wasn't going to say we leave. Does the helmet say anything about the camera? The camera. helmet doesn't say anything about the camera other than it is a security camera. Do we, uh, do we on the arc have a hand gesture for uh, get fucked? I mean, do you? I'm sure that's up to you as players if you want to have made your own. I feel like that gesture would have survived the apocalypse. <laughs> it's just a natural feeling. The elder taught yeah. us. The <laughs> he would have. <laughs> and this is when a man's really acting the fool. <laughs> Don't know if you can see me, but fuck it. <clears throat> we so, all show the camera the finger. Can you guys uh, make me a scout check? Oh no. I was gonna say intimidate check. <laughs> intimidate the computer and it turns back on. I can fail the scout on. check for you. <laughs> Turn back oh, on God. now. Turn back on now. I lied. I could succeed if I can scout check. Okay, so for those of you who succeeded, you will Notice something in the corner of your eye as you turn around back towards the door where you came from. 
as something what well, looks like it may have been watching you skitters back off down the hall. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> a movement in the dark behind you. I want to chase that shit. Should we chase that shit? You may if you wish. Uh, I'm like everyone else. Hey, we can send the dogs after it. If it's like some big rats, we should probably get it. Gets us. What if it's like the, the hospital? Rat would have run away. The rat wouldn't have run away when it noticed us. Green kid. I think. Well, th wait. Think. Think about it for a second, okay? Presumably, we're all mutants, and we all came from here. It could be another mutant. It could be like the hospital. Bunch of green yeah, kids. Could be like the hospital. They might be just trying to be nice to us. They might even be able to look through the cameras themselves. We don't know the full scope of mutation. Hello. Hello, we don't we don't want to hurt you. We're um we're quite friendly. We have rations. There is no answer. When you go outside, you do not see anyone. <laughs> well, let's go check out what's behind the big metal door over there. If we can get it open. So, on the far end of the room, the big metal door is heavily damaged. As you will see, it has also been battered, but they did not appear to succeed in bashing it down. Mm. On the side of the door, much like some of the others you've come across, there is a card reader. Oh, my time! As well. uh, I'm, I'm going to go invisible in the way that we... To see if the rat comes back. I yeah, you you can you can do that. Proudly approach with my card that I've always kept in myself, and I swipe it. All right, you swipe the card, and as you swipe the card, there is a screeching noise of metal grating against metal, which hurts your ears to hear. As the door opens, maybe half a meter before getting stuck, you have to squeeze the rest of the way through. Mm. Or you can try to force it open a little more. I'll try to force it open a little more. All right, roll me that force. Since this is a heavy door, it is fucking stuck. You'll do it with a negative two, but other people can help you offset it. Come on, let's get this door open. Heave! I don't know. I've tried pretty hard to lock it down. I mean, think about this place. It's some kind of like military computer like. room. It's probably just more computers. I'm supposed to say, just do it, son. Just do it. Alright, so I'm working with a minus two. Well, slash minus one because I got my tag so far. Is, yeah, can, can Django and Geiger come over here and help? Yeah, Django's gonna help. He's uh, actually. You know, not too bad with his strength. Oh, right. uh, Geiger is a bit of a weenie boy, but he'll grab like a pipe and try to jerk it open. So, working with a plus one. You're working with a plus one. <laughs> Easy enough. You manage to jerk the door open and about another half a meter, making it fairly easy for you all to get through now without having to squeeze. Yeah, no, no, I will get stuck. Me needing to refresh because my page is going all wonky. That's right. Oh, God, this again, so I'm going to rip that screen right out of your face. Wherever you want to. I can't believe the civilians rioted just because, you know, some of the other civilians got shot. How rude. Just can't go off of just civilians. They're yeah. starved to death. I think it's just, yeah, they were hung. I can't they believe they didn't start the life. cannibal project. Surely these soldiers are holding out food. I mean, if something's living down here, clearly. I 
Yeah, it makes you wonder what everything's eating down here. So far, there seems to be no food. Maybe it's just a lot of rats. I don't think the rats can sustain each other forever. Mm -hmm. So why would a rat have, been, have ran away as soon as we noticed it? There must be ways that they've been getting in and out of the facility. Small breaks in the walls, holes that lead out into the hill. Druids cast summoning creature. No, my point isn't that it's unrealistic. My point is, why would they bother to stay in here? It doesn't really seem to be anything good. I'm not sure. Rats eat their babies. Motherfuck! Okay. What the fuck? Uh, this is well interesting. Good birth. Seen shit. Seen shit? Well, I fucking skeleton grabbed my leg and then I looked down and there was nothing. Oh. I mean, you have a pretty good grip on yourself. You're probably not going to poop you. So. Did, did anything else change, or did the skeleton just grab you? Was well, the skeleton or chicks? I look back, and the skeleton is huh? as it was. Feels like the mats, you know. Mm. Got spooky shit going on down here. I'm just going to wait behind and try to sneak up on whoever's following us, but I don't think I should. Yeah, I don't blame you. We got the door open if you want to come in here with us. Tighter fit. So, you are all going in there? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless it's unless I look in there and it's like barely enough space for one of us. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't all just go in there. There's a one by one foot room behind this door. You'll see inside is a steep and narrow staircase that leads deeper into the bedrock. A faint light can be seen far below. Oh wait, based on the map, the command center had the place that went further down, didn't it? Mm hmm I think this is the way to go further down towards the core of this place. This is forward, I guess. Well, anyway, that requires this key is probably not being as looted as everywhere else. Yeah, probably. I'm guessing that after the uh, people breached this room, they probably couldn't get through here. That's what all the battering was. Probably more of them retreated back behind this door. Mm -hmm. uh, just a bunch of supplies, anyway. Uh, out of character, was that was that revolver on the gun? An artifact revolver? That sure was. That's great. We have a third. Okay, we absolutely <laughs> grabbed it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can tell you right now it has three bullets left in it. That skeleton was shooting us. He would have left it with one. Yeah. He didn't play Russian roulette with himself. Nah, man. His goal was, was to make it himself. Yeah, yeah, it was guaranteed. At least make it fun. You <laughs> make it fun, do you? I won't let those bastards get me, but I'm gonna make it fun. <laughs> Put a bullet in there, pull the trigger every day, spin it every morning, just to see, you know. If he lives the day, the day. It was ah. a surprise to everyone. <laughs> his daily ritual of holding a gun to his head finally paid off. Every day you fail, you add a bullet. One add extra bullet. bullet. Speed Russian. Oh no! A bullet! Oh boy! Oh boy! I can't wait to pull the trigger! I won't hesitate. Don't <laughs> fuck with me, pal! I've been wearing these gloves for 72 years! 
I'll fuck you up! Oh. I can't swear. believe that Eden is just, you know, Disney. <laughs> Disneyland. Everyone's a mutant in here. Oh, That's nah. the worst kind of place in the apocalypse. An oh. amusement park. I don't know what you mean. Aren't you having Isn't fun? There's a moment in the apocalypse we're going to an amusement park ends well. <laughs> So, where, where are you guys going? Down, I guess. Down? Okay. Yeah. We continue. Going down, down, down. In the if we keep going around, we're likely to run into whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. We want to go immediately right. down. Yeah, that is strongly cool. also presuming it doesn't somehow have a method to get down that isn't this. I mean, that's why he's following us, right? I mean, it, it, even if it doesn't, it's just going to fall. <laughs> we can't close this door behind us. We could try. It's gonna immediately get stuck in here and die. Mm. Hell yeah! Uh, I suppose if we do get stuck in here and die, at least still have gotten to Eden. Even if it doesn't have anything I expect. True. Yeah. Where do we die? Eden. What happened to us? We uploaded ourselves to the network. We're now a well, part of it. E or E. 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 A. Sports. E? It's in your ass. What's more, EA Sports. I have Clubcomania. God damn it! As you descend these stairs, it will take you again a long time to traverse the bedrock and go all the way down to the next floor. Once again, another ten minutes pass as you walk for some time. Again, hearing the screech from earlier. Freaking be found us. I'll stick in the back. You're gonna creep uh, up on us. I might as well fucking be there. Everybody, every few minutes, make sure to check around yourselves and do a head count. We don't know what's down here. It might be quiet like one of those bears. Oh no. Where's Nebo? No, not bunker bears. No! Has anybody seen Nebo? Nebo's not there. Hey, that's the problem. Sit. Gonna have Nebo to look for the bunker bears. If they have bare feet. What if they have bare feet? Nebo. One last trip to play Let's pull one. <laughs> Let's go. Really, Nebo didn't want to come find you. Oh my fucking god, you can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. Alright. Just waiting for Saab to return. We can rule out whatever's following us as an ancient. It's really fast. What if it's an ancient like us? Except, like, whatever they did to us, they did to the ancient. So now he's like, bleh. I feel like that if they could do that to themselves, the elder would probably be a lot better off than he is now. Maybe he was, like, scared to do it. I don't know. Every single one of us is about the same age, so I assume whatever treatment we received, if we weren't somehow made here, which I don't even know how that would work, but I suppose it's a possibility. When one mutant Probably. loves another mutant. Nothing happens, Kitnam, it never has. <laughs> oh shit, you're right. Fuck! Or one mutant stabs another mutant. Oh god. Bleeds into the other mutant. Well, that's the other thing now. We're all so different. Oh. 
Sorry to interrupt you. Go, go on. All our mutations are all different for the most part. I haven't really met anybody with too many identical ones. Yeah, there's only one Jerry the Beast room. Otherwise, yeah. then. Yeah, he so, wouldn't be Jerry so the other Beast. Guy the beast room. Uh, geriatric the Beast <laughs> If we were mid down here, it stands to reason that somebody else could also still be alive here. They'd be about our age, right? Maybe. But even though the elder's actual name, we've always just kind of called him elder. You do not know his actual name. Eric Elder Maxim. Did I hear him referring to himself in the third person, perhaps, in his head? Kind of no, you didn't. He is not a psychopath. <laughs> is he that kind of crazy? He's just old, feeble, and a little confused sometimes. <laughs> he listens to his thoughts and he's just thinking like, Hmm, the Elder feels sore today. <laughs> I think I will have a yogurt. <laughs> you play yogurt, please. I wish you got Froyo was still a thing. The Elda, fuck what's Froyo? Fro -yo? <laughs> I know my head. Not Elda. Just want a hot dog. Imagine having never been able to have a hot dog again. Things appear to my American eye. His thoughts. We decided to surprise him with uh, a dog that was recently set on fire, presented as a present, and he's like, "Why?" Why are you done with this? This is not what I want. My children, a hot dog is made from blended hog ass. Yes. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, once Why? you all reach the bottom of the stairs, <laughs> the first thing that you will notice is that it is warmer, drier, and brighter in here, in stark contrast to the upper circle. A pale blue light shines from light strips in the ceilings, and some parts of the lower circle have been preserved for ages. But, there are no corpses or signs of destruction here. The Mimir logo is painted on the wall as well. The logo from the science track is also the logo that I sewed onto my jacket. Mimir. Are there any, um, more security cameras in the corner? You would see more of them as you go. Uh -huh. Flip them all off. Like that bit in, um, Tales from the Borderlands. <laughs> Borderlands. <gasps> <laughs> Flip off all the monitors. <laughs> you find no way to actually interact with these cameras. Oh, we're interacting with them. This yeah, I'm, intera I'm interacting with them using boop, 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 boop. It's quite a refined <laughs> technique. Oh god. Call me old hook you will hear a sound like static crackling to life that echoes throughout the area. This is a restricted area. This is your last warning. Leave this place. Restricted by who? There is no response. Please, we seek answers. Yeah, who the fuck are you? Like, help us out. The static vanishes as the bunker returns <laughs> to eerie silence. We're not leaving without some answers. Maybe a ration or two. And then we did not come all this way for a can of beans. You know, actually I'm wondering something. We said to beware of the Titan powers, and we'd find our answers here. Do you think that's one of the Titan powers that's talking to us? Amir? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So I already, like, talking oh, to a Titan? And there was one other word I couldn't remember. It starts with, like, N? No, it's on. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, what if... 
What if it's like one of those computers, you know? That's why the computer turned on. Regardless, the technology they have here is far beyond everything that we've ever seen. Of course, this is of the old world. But... And it's intact. Yes. In here. Oh, God. You hear that in the walls. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> They're in the walls! They're in the goddamn walls! <laughs> Why do we want to be scared of a computer? Surely it can't really do anything to us. I mean... I'd like to think so. But I don't know for sure. What if he, like, closes the door on us repeatedly? Not just block you, just closes and opens it and a lot to annoy you. He he spams the input so you can't open the door. Star stuck. Mm. So are we looking at a door right now? So no, you've gone down into the main corridor of the lower circle. So where you are is just down here and you may choose. Which way you wish to go? Uh, I vote clockwise again. Visually, what does what do the options look like? So, much like up here, the corridor is large and open, with uh, sections that will split off into small rooms that look maybe like offices or just small storage areas. But the main corridor itself will roll around and have large bunker doors that separate the areas. In between these larger bunker yeah. doors, there are also smaller doors that segment corridors. I would like to check for signage. Uh, you may, but you do not find any. <laughs> Alright, you may move your token. At least if we go clockwise, we're, I guess we're close enough to the exit either way. Okay. You begin to move clockwise in that direction. I get the map up that I have. As you get to there, you'll see ahead is a... Uh, what looks like a large room filled with desks and chairs, consoles, all of it lit up. Before you get there, the door will close in front of you. Oh, come on! Hey, come on! There is a card reader by the door as well. Oh. Definitely my time again. Mm -hmm. Surely it will work for every door. You swipe the card we and... Be stopped. Yeah. It rejects your card. We can be stopped! No! <gasps> My time! Is there another camera around here? You'll see, again, more cameras. One in the corner that is looking down at you all near the door. I know you can see us. I don't know if you can hear us, but... This is Command Center Delta. We came from here when we were children. We just want to know why. There is no response. It's like talking to a wall. I don't think that whoever's here wants to speak with us. They only want to tell us to leave. They have to be here somewhere, right? I was elected to lead, not to read. <laughs> Maybe we can go around the other way. Counterclockwise. Maybe. As long as they don't do the same thing to us. Well, what if we stand at each door? I'm sure they can both be closed at the same time. I think they'll just leave the door closed at that point. The door opens as we walk away. Turn around and it closes again. Alright, so what are you doing at the moment? Yes, we'll go back. Okay. Walk around. Look for more doors. Go back. Way. 
I should go back. Go <laughs> up. Where you started? Like here? No, 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 no. Back there. Oh, okay. That wasn't where we started, though. Well, it's where you started from the second leap. Shut up. Anyway, as you go to leave, another door shuts, trapping oh. you in between two doors. Oh, hey, what the fuck? Hey. You know, I didn't really figure something like this would happen. I thought, you know, surely uh, the worst thing that's going to be down here is killer machine, maybe like a giant rat. Oh my god, I was right. He is opening and closing the doors. As the doors close. I think gas. Gas. Gonna step on the gas, gas, gas. Those of you who are closest to the so who's at the front leading the group? Not me. I am an angry man. I'll be at the front. Okay. I'll be behind you with the torch. Alright. As you two are the closest to the front, you may make move checks for me. They love Oh shit. To get through the door before we get cut in half. To get through the door without getting trapped. Oh. oh. Then we get separated. Let's go. If, if that's Fuck. the If that's the case, then I'd like to jump through with my legs. Why did that roll zero dice? Wait, what? That did you not set it over? Did you put well. pluses in there? No. I like. Oh my god! If I push, I die. I was gonna wow. push like the first time. Hang on. Well, not... you, you, you didn't add any skill dice. I don't have skill. You don't have skill and move. No. Wait, it uses move with your strength, so. Yeah, which is my base. And you have no points in move. No. God damn, son. What the? Fuck? Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, if you'd like to use your leggies to go through, then, yep, you're okay. Uh, you you kind of crouch low and just kick off and slide straight under the door, like, ha-ha, and then you turn around and see there's a thick metal door now blocking you from your friend. Oh, fuck. Was this a mistake? Oh, no. e everyone else is trapped in the room and you are outside, though you are not trapped. You can continue on if you wish I for some reason. sure as fuck will not. I'm gonna look for a way to open it from this side. Alright. Again, there is a uh, keycard uh, swipe on the oh, side okay. of the door. As the rest of you in there will start to hear a, uh, a kind of low hissing noise. I knew it! We're getting gassed! You are indeed getting gassed. Gas. Oh, shit. My Minecraft's over. Right. Well, let's try to pry the door open. So... What's gonna happen here is some good fun. Good, good sound fun. Like fun. Is the voice fun. gonna chime on? We're gonna see the saw mask. And so <laughs> <laughs> I want to play a game. Uh, I'm quickly getting into my book, and I need to do this. <sighs> for... What a way for like almost all of us to die. <laughs> I will. I will share your legacy. I will share your legacy. I won't actually, because I'm gonna get eaten by rats on the way out of here. Yeah. I was gonna also mention I took all of the fuel out of the car so I could use it in the flamethrower, so the car won't work. It's not gonna be a long walk. For Mr. Saab at the front, mm -hmm. you take no damage as you manage to hold your breath and you are not affected at the moment. The person behind him, let's just, let's just go in order of the tokens, they tag. You will take one point of damage to your wits. Oh, sleep oh. gas. Hitman, you also take a point of damage to your wits. <laughs> Lina gets a point of damage to her wits. And Chester gets a point of damage to her wits. Um, Basically. not that I'm really asking you to re-roll, because I don't really mind only taking one damage, but aren't you supposed to roll d6s? Motherfucker, I've done it again. 68! <laughs> All over Yeah, sure. Game. You know what? Sure. I'll re-roll for everyone. No, I already said I don't mind. I'm keeping my roll. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well today. It's... it's... Wow, look at that! Oh, jeez. 
It's the it sign of the devil. <sighs> You're like, oh, please, have mercy. Is that me? Uh, that's, that's you. Was it Wits? Maytag, no. You just roll. Jersey? Wits? Yep, that's Wits. Alright, I'm, I'm down. Alright, you are broken, but this is non-standard damage, so you're not dead, you're just unconscious. Oh god, we are gonna put into a Saw game. <gasps> nothing, nothing, Lena, nothing. Two, point, two points of confusion to your Wits. And Chester, two points of confusion to you. Get my Wits back. Two to Wits, was it? Yes. I'm broken. You are unconscious as the gas fills the room and a few of you drop. Everyone see Drew! Oh god! We you, gotta get the door open. You may attempt to break the door down. I'm going to. An army I'm of help. peasants couldn't do it. Maybe us with our we're, stupid we're muscles. We're super mutants. Yeah. My rolling force. Both, both the people with the acid breath are knocked down. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> so those of you who are unconscious, don't worry, you're not at risk of death. You are at risk of asphyxiation if the gas continues, though. The yeah. gas is at risk of death. So you oh, can yeah, roll I'm in the worst danger. <laughs> yeah, so those of you who would like to, may roll to uh, bash their door. Yes, how? What? Yo, Do I force? Just, it, uh, that's, that's up. Uh, no, no, you're just rolling attack. You need to roll damage. Just roll. Roll health. You must fight the door. 100 armor. The door parries you. <laughs> How dare you! Can I shoot the door? Uh, you may. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ricochets. <laughs> Suicide. What are you talking about? I'm an excellent shot. And it's pulling out the scrap X plus one time. <laughs> Is um is my dog smart enough to see what everyone else is doing and then copy them? Dog bite the door. <laughs> bite the door. Uh, your your dog is more concerned about uh, nuzzling you and trying to get you up. Oh, fair enough. The poor boy. Ha! Very nice, very nice. How much damage is that? A total of four. Four damage. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, you put a nice little cut into the door. May tag, I assume that's three damage? That's four damage. I'm using the, the rifle I have. Nice. That's eight damage total. The door is uh, not buckling yet. We keep going. Oh, that's not good. Is there another so, gas round? As, as the gas continues to fill the room and uh, your, you know, franticness begins to uh, overwhelm you, is there only two of you up right now? I believe so. And the NPCs. Yeah, you and the NPCs. NPCs. You know what? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Maybe not the NPCs. NPCs about to die. That's right, because I had to reload my fucking... Oh. Okay, now I see what happened. Yes. Okay, game, please let me... I accidentally... Uh... Okay. So then uh, I muted myself because I'm stupid. You uh, are stupid. All right. Geiger and Django are still up, barely. And they will also try to help you, I guess. Um. Yeah, go for it, buddy. Hiya. Oh. <laughs> Blast it. Geiger and his slingshot does absolutely nothing. Bang. Nice. nice. A double barrel surprise. You should uh, stunt to knock it backwards. Of yeah, 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 yeah. That'll yeah, yeah. totally work. Wow. Holy shit. This is the most super mega punch you've ever seen in your life from Django. Oh my god. So One punch. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that's a four damage punch. That's pretty brutal from a guy who's not an enforcer. Tasty. Alright, so... How much damage did you do, Lena? Um... Two... Three... Four. Four. Okay. The, the door is, uh, slightly beginning to buckle, but it doesn't look like you're getting through just yet. But as the gas begins to continue filling the room, you... Can we hold our breath at this point? 
uh, get fucked because nothing is going to happen next because unbeknownst to you, well, you don't know why, but the door in front of you opens as the gas disperses out. Whatever you were frantically doing on the other side, uh, fucking Cagley, really you true. think it might have worked. But Hooray, I saved don't, everyone. You don't know how. I did it. I immediately grab the nearest unconscious person and start, like, speedily dragging them out. Excellent, excellent. Scooping people up. Uh, yeah, Django's also gonna grab, uh, Saab and pull him out. What happened? Are you okay? It was the air. <clears throat> Some sort of gas came in through the vents. Let me check on them. I just feel kind of sleepy. I don't think it really hurt. Yeah, you feel quite woozy. Oh, is everyone's breathing? Yeah, is everybody breathing? Everyone appears to be breathing, yes. Yeah, well, well let's go recuperate uh, where there isn't any doors to lock us in. That's uh, everywhere. To heal Sub and then Caster. Okay. That'd be even funnier. I think Saab is just back to full. <laughs> and I think Chester is too. Can you really heal wits like that? Yeah, uh, as long as they are broken, you can heal them. Better Damn. healing damage because I have a med kit, but yes. That's a healing really anything does just work like that. So am I back up to full now? I'm just conscious yeah. again? You get a point for every success he has in the uh, the broken stat. I shove the smelling salts in your nose. <laughs> it looks salt, it's awful. You wake up. Why is it burn? How'd it get burn? Okay, so. We're going the other way? Yeah, let's not go through there. Alright. And should we perhaps. stagger the group on both sides of a door just in case it closes again? Yeah, sure. I mean, maybe if we just don't breathe for a couple seconds, we'll be fine. Didn't really get the chance to try that, it just stopped. It stopped because the door opened, and it couldn't cover all of that area. Yeah, I don't know. Any of the cameras, like, turning with us as we walk? Yep. Yeah, whatever's watching us is still watching us. Watch out for that trick, whatever other traps they may have. So, you will continue moving on, where at some point you will come across another door. And this door will lead to what looks like a living quarters. Mm. This section contains what looks like separate suites. Sweet. They are sparsely furnished and rather warm. But there are a few personal belongings here. Apart from some clothes. Would you like to look around? I'd like to look yeah. for an iPhone charger. I think we need a different version of the key, you know. Maybe there's more than one key card, you know? We found out bring the keys earlier. I'm sure they did the same thing for their additional keys. As you look around... Flashlight, does it have, like, a plug port? Yes, yes, it does. But you also have your best pal there who can reach for 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it is a mutation, right? Yeah. It's not free, so I want to look for something else. I mean, you're... you're, you're... Oh, did he charge it for you the first time? Uh, I believe it had dwindling battery, so you may need to charge it soon. Hmm, okay. Actually, you don't really need it down here. Because it's, it's it's brightly lit down here. Oh, okay. Well, turn and it off. Yeah, I'd just... be like, I turn it off the light. Turn it off for this area, then. I'd still like to charge you. So, each of you 
these suites are not very far apart from each other. You are able to split off and still be within like 10 yards of each other at all times as you look around through these suites. I make careful consideration to not be separated by a door, you know, from everybody else. Well, at least you this, know, make sure we have like 50 50 split. This particular area does not appear to have any cameras that you can see. As you look around, you'll see that, again, there are the few personal belongings uh, around, such as lab coats and uh, little collections of small things, like a collection of pins and uh, such of butterflies that look very personal, I guess. In one of the rooms, however, you will find a photograph. And let's see. I'm going to roll a d6 and see which one of you fuckers find this. It's gonna be Maytag. It's gonna be Maytag. That is, that is indeed gonna be Maytag. As Maytag, you will find a picture, and I will give you this handout. Psychic power strike again. I slide of hand it into my pocket. Nobody deserves to know. <laughs> I see. I didn't upload the picture because I'm stupid. <laughs> Allow me to make that handout real fucking quick. There's nothing on this photo, it's just a square. Oh wait, no, I can see it loading in. That's right, it goes in the square hole. It's in the square hole. Alright, uh, choose picture, show all... No, fucking... Gim thing. Where? I'm just gonna put it in all players once it finishes uh, uploading. Okay, do. All right, it's finished uploading. I will show the players. Oh, the boys. Oh. And Maytag, you will immediately recognize one of the people in this photo. Laura Croft. I recognize the elder. Oh. A very young-looking elder. Ooh. Is he the one with the, with the sick Walter White like a mustache facial hair? <laughs> no, actually, he's the second from the left. Oh, the nerd. Mm. Good. He's just rocketed to the top of my guys, hit list. Guys, I found, found an ancient photo. It has the elder in it. Is, I can't tell. Is that a woman? That's a woman. I think that's a woman. That's Lara Croft. With glasses. You're right. You're right. It's, it's Lara Croft. Miss Laura Crosby. Is it paper clipped? Are there more more photos behind it? Hey, there, are no, there are no others, but this is paper clipped onto um like a like a stand so it would stay there. Like uh. a desk. Do I recognize any of these faces? No. Seeing them through the eyes of the child getting you do tortured. Not. None of these faces are familiar through your memory of that memory. Through your child torture eyes. Uh, For your child's torture eyes, you can't seem to make out any of them. Have unique set of skills. A preponderance of talents, if you will. I know the fucking thing. Does this uh, convenient have all their names written on the back in order? That's what I'm trying to find, so that way I can see if it if it does indeed. No, actually, it, it doesn't. It has no names on it. You don't recognize any of the others in the picture besides the elder. So How much many gold are we here? Which means we were probably here. It's the elder that brought oh, us to the ark, right? Yeah, on the video I saw him taking us out. With some you other think people. these other ones took uh, other children to different places? Maybe. Hmm. 
on the uh, on the video camera, there was a lot of people in lab coats Your leading, face. right? Like, they were the elder. Yeah, there were. There was a bunch. Maybe they, maybe they tried to go back to Eden after we arrived. In, you know the subway. Wait, I have that lab coat with the Mimir logo on it, right? Yep. How many other lab coats are here? I believe there are a couple of dozen. Okay. I guess it kind of makes sense they wouldn't have just a single lab coat. <laughs> but all of the ones here appear folded and covered in dust, as if they have not been touched in a long time. There's maybe only one or two of them that are not covered in dust. What? Wait, some of them aren't covered in dust? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Are they, like, in a particular area? So they're just folded and on the beds. But some of them aren't dirty. Like, some of them are dust. not. Mm-hmm. Any of this shit look familiar? Not, not really. No. Surely they must not have come in here very often. This appears to be everybody in the photos' living quarters. Mm -hmm. But still, it's weird, isn't it? We still don't remember anything. Maybe we just haven't found the right rooms or something. I guess the place could go down further than that map showed. Where you are currently. Off to the side, you will see there is a sign that says emergency exit. As you follow this corridor, it has a narrow tunnel that appears to lead off into the bedrock and away from the ring. We want to go check this out. A lot of people were here recently and they saw a bunch of uh, goons with weapons coming. Maybe they wanted an emergency exit. Yeah. I mean, there's no, there's none of those cameras in here, so whatever's looking at us can't tell the word, what we're doing in here, presumably. I guess we might as well, but I'll keep a careful watch for doors. You may. I would like to vent. Okay, so how long are you going to follow this tunnel for? How long is the tunnel? It goes on for as long as you can see. As long as we're it just takes. Going, we're just going counterclockwise, right? Now, out of curiosity. No, no, there was an emergency exit to... Oh, they go somewhere else. Yeah, from, yeah, from... that leads away. Oh, I don't think we go through that yet. Um, that's probably the... how no. we leave this place once that did... dude traps us in here. <laughs> did the way we go to Eden, like leave Eden from the video, did it look like the place we entered from when we got here? Oh, sorry, what was that? Like you know, on the video camera, we saw le us leaving Eden. Did it yeah. Look like place we entered from like that we came into here from place yeah on the video camera where you entered eden looks like the entrance on the video camera okay so i was just going off the random theory that perhaps we left through the emergency exit but it doesn't really seem so yeah how many bedrooms are there uh a couple of dozen as i said there is at least i'd say about 36 so definitely not enough space for 250 plus children. No. There is another door that will lead further in and counterclockwise. I don't think we need the exit yet. I can only assume it either works or it's blocked off.
Let's continue. We need to find this menu. If anybody's gonna give us answers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or at least their pre-recorded voices. Once again, you will hear a screech that rings out. The more you hear it, the more Maytag you realize this is echolocation. Oh my god. Something in here is using sonar. Huh. Something in here has the same mutation I do. It's looking for fuck. something. I don't think that's good. Uh, Maytag, could you make a scout check for me? Of course, yes. I'm very good at those. Of course. Of course. What it's looking for isn't us. Because if I you hear it, it's probably found us. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. For but a brief moment after the screech rings out, after a few moments of waiting, you have this feeling like you're being watched. And you can kind of hear this low, almost kind of raspy breathing. And you look up, and through a vent, you see eyes and a green face watching you before it quickly darts off. Did the helmet identify it? No, it did not. Guys, it's in the vents. Sus? Sus? I saw it for just a second. It had a green face. What the fuck? Really? Was it like really tight and like blinding? Was it like glowing green, or was it just like green skin? It had what looked like green scale-like skin. Oh, there was fuck. no hair, and the eyes looked reptilian. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it looks like a lizard version of Jerry the Man Beast. Oh, Load a new bullet since I've fired. I never got around to doing that in my double yeah. barrel. I would like to reload <laughs> my rifle. And I'll, uh, you may do so. Also, draw my sword just so I'm ready. You're like, oh, something fuck. goes down. Stop. I do like the, the the Call of Duty tactical knife that I've got a whole sword in one hand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have a machete. It's way further than the gun. Nice. Hey, so Stop. did you did you see that thing earlier? No, I didn't see anything. Okay. Well, I was just hoping really it would come to me. Although, I doubt it's trying to kill us. It just seems to be watching. Welcome back, Chester. Mm. Other than that, nothing else happens. I mm. think that we should lay an ambush for this thing. We don't even know what it wants when we're not going to ambush it. Probably by being alone, which doesn't seem like a great idea. I don't think that's a good idea. We don't know what it's capable of. I think if it was capable of killing all of us, it probably would have tried already. It seems to be completely unconnected to the uh, thing that's telling us to leave, at least. So what do we do? Check it out. I say we just keep going. Keep going. Very well. 
Say so don't just shoot it if you see it. If, if it isn't doing anything last time and tries to talk to us, we should probably talk to it. It's probably one of us, really, if you think about it. Probably got stuck sure down here. Now, from the very brief moment that I saw it, did it appear to be human sized? It like looked it wasn't human that monstrously proportioned. It looked human oh. Like it could have been one of us that just got left behind when we left, you know? It's entirely possible that happened at least once. Mm, mm, mm. That's the case, I'm glad he's alive. Or it, whatever thing is. Them? Yeah. Right up. You may continue on through the door into the next area. As nothing appears to hinder you. Da -da 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 okay. So you enter what looks like a dormitory again. But unlike in the upper circle, there are no bunk beds. Instead, there are hundreds of metal cages here, stacked three stories high. In every cage, there is a small cot, far too small for an adult to sleep in. Oh, oh no! The... Mm -hmm. It's our dormitory. <laughs> the elders the... got a lot to answer for. On the outside of each cage, there is a medical journal with a name and diagrams of length and weight measurements. I'm going to walk around and start reading them. You can, and you may make me a comprehension roll. Perfecto. It doesn't take much for you to realize that young children must have been kept in these cages. And then the journals. Describe individuals about three feet tall and weighing less than 30 pounds. The names in the journals are interesting to you as well, as you recognize some of them. Jerry the Man Beast. You <laughs> no, you recognize name. the name Grit. Grit. This, this this one's grit. Remember? Know a grit? Yes, we know a grit. The really rude person from Max Gang, the girl is. You met her back when uh, Marlo died. Th this is this is where uh, they yeah. kept us. Is there anything still in the cage? There is only a cot. I'm going to start wandering around trying to find mine. Alright. You wander around for a while. There are hundreds of cages in here. So it'll take you a little while. But after a while, you will eventually find your name, Maytag. The others... All of you can eventually find your own names on cages with cots inside. Any of us named Burritos? Any of us cage names? <laughs> not, not any, none of you are cage names, no, but... <laughs> Aww. That name was my upstairs neighbor kept pissing on. <laughs> Gliostra. In your cage. Yes. Well, so let me. Let me. <laughs> Sorry, it's not in your cage, but here and there, hanging on the walls, are drawings clearly that children have made. Is slightly you... embarrassed at the quality. Oh yes, but you find one. And 
I will I'll put this to all players. Show. And oh, man. Oh, you, have, you have a very strong feeling of deja vu. And you recognize that the man that you've drawn in this photo is Dr. Sebadias. The Elder. The elder. Oh. For some reason, you remember that name. Sebadias. Oh. I like that the lady scientist has, like, angry eyes. <laughs> angry like, eyes. She was the mean one. She's like, doesn't right, look, she doesn't look guys. mad, though. Like, she looks determined. Because she's still got the big smile. Yeah, she's a mean. She's, she's like, you know, a scientist. But also, hey, hey. As for... Kitnam, you get... A minor flashback. Oh! You remember roaming around outside the cage with one of the doctors. You remember doing small puzzles, laughing and having fun with them. You remember being scared of the dark in the cages, though. Remember some of the others were unstable. You don't remember much more. I feel a nerve being here again. See if there's any remnants of uh, ones I know that are unhinged or recall being unhinged. I don't really recall much else than that. I just remember being scared. I always thought I came up with my name myself. The Elder didn't want us to find this place. Oh. Elder didn't want us to not find this place for us. He didn't want us to find it because of his guilt. I keep walking. These cages span the entire length of this room, which goes most of the way around this section of the circle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 30 feet at least. 10 feet? No. <gasps> now. At some point, however, let me just
Can someone make a scout check? Just one person. I refuse. I've scout checked enough. I've done enough. I'm currently being creeped out by my cage. Is nobody else gonna do it? If nobody will, I'll fucking do it. Alright, fine. You've chosen. Have me succeed, baby. <laughs> you have succeeded. And you will notice that there is something crawling along the roof. What the fuck? Is it the green lizard thing? It is, but there's more than one as you are all being ambushed. But you <gasps> saw them in time, so you are not ambushed. I didn't make a battle map for this room because it's a big room full of cages. Did you have a face? Yes. What? Did you not say you were making maps for like three plus hours? Yeah, the important maps that were more important. And then my chair broke, which Uber. wasted some of my time. Snitties. Yes, they are, they have rep they have some rep titties. They're trying to hit the gritty. Everybody dodge. By the night, night, him with a dab. By the night, he hit them with a dab. <laughs> Man. There's only three of them. You can place yourselves on here, we're just gonna do this because they're not very oh, far no. away from you and um Well, seeing as there's more than one of them and they're on the ceiling, I'm not going to hesitate to open fire. Very well. I won't hesitate. Are going to talk to them? No. If they're crawling on the ceiling towards me, I'm not going to hesitate. <laughs> this is completely fair. Like, look, okay, if it was by itself and it was just standing there across from me, I wouldn't shoot it, but it's like, it's, there's five of us. And we're hiding on the ceiling. Me trying we're to remember what the ceiling. fuck any of my music sounds like. Me trying to approach women in public grows a green lizard skin, climbs into the room, <laughs> <laughs> ambushes. Uh, so I will say, they are completely hairless and their bodies are covered by thick and dark lizard-like grey scales. Sorry. Their eyes are also reptilian. And that is, that's the most you get out of them. Damn, I can't believe our politicians returned. Goddamn. <laughs> Biden, is that you? I mean, I know why he was here. There's plenty of shots in that <laughs> He hit the sniff. Hold on. At the nine to five. There's, there's three of them as they drop down from the roof around Saab, I guess, because he's right there. <laughs> That's fine. Sob's immortal. Sob That's right. is immortal. Sob can't I die. They yeah. totally haven't taken the most critical injuries of everyone. It's because you yeah. haven't had the high quality Maytag brand armor until now. I yeah. have. In the last major fight we had, uh, everybody was getting fucked up. Where the fuck's the initiative on oh, it's in the bottom left? Yes. Yeah, also, I'm gonna be honest, like, you know, you oh, kind of, like, have talk to someone onto the lawnmower blades, like, you know. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, I purposely started right next to them. I wanted to. Uh, alright. Bam. So, I will now put Geiger and Django descending. Bam! Wow, sub starts first. Look at yep. get I mean, they get advantage on initiative, basically. Oh, yeah. And you can do that thing to increase your initiative to eat still more than that. Yeah, to be in the exact same spot I already was. Uh, from my level, I right, took quick draw. So, quick draw. You quick draw. I'm gonna stab this one on my left. That's some sick fucking music, by the way. Pretty sure it's Dark Tide music. It is. It is. Yep. 
Can I roll an attack with a weapon, or do I just click fight? You just click fight. Or I'm too used to, uh... Actually having a roll with a weapon. You're used to D&D and Warhammer. Yeah, where I can just click the button and wipe it. Um... Your dice is four. Bruh. You wanna chill the fuck out? So my answer's no. Damage is three. It's okay. So yeah. five. Uh, five damage. And I will knock it prone. Knock it prone, I think it's dead. And I've got one more. Oh, wait, damage. More. So Six damage, and it knocks prone. <laughs> if it doesn't dodge, of course. Well. It's uh, certainly gonna fucking try, but I don't think it stands a fucking chance against that. No, you, you don't stand Tub's a angry chance right now. against Kai by this time, because he is a ghost. Look, Sub has fair reasoning, so that was what, six damage and knock it prone? Yes. Alright, well, allow me to try. Jesus. No. So, now... Do some weird scale shit. Also, no. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, it's gonna use mutation points. It's gonna reduce your overall successes by three by screaming at you. <laughs> wow. Oh no. So I just it probably that, just be that's the two. Unfair. Wait, Jesse, are they using the same mutation I have? Yes. yes. That it only works against ranged attacks. Oh shit, you're right. Fuck. <laughs> <I'm cut, cut. laughs> Fuck. You know what? Okay. Um. I wouldn't have even bothered wearing armor if I could do that shit. It screams as it dies. Well, let me just get the conditions up and see what the fuck <laughs> you've been doing. <laughs> yes. So not prone and. So it's it's knocked the fuck prone. An idea. It's a 42, so you gouged its fucking eye out! It jumps down onto me and I just slash it right across the fucking face. Jesus! Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. How dare. Okay, it's it's down and broken. Christ, oh fucking mighty, you meanie. <laughs> and then broken at your feet. How do you slay your hated foe? Oh, uh, there you go. You beat the shit out of it. Christ. Alright, fuck me. Alright, yeah. Django's gonna fucking hop over there and. He's got, he, He's literally gonna hop, but. No, he doesn't even need to. He just walks. He just walks over. But he is gonna throw <laughs> hands. Uh, yep. No. I suck today. Jesus Christ, Maytag. Pegasus. I use my revolver execute style. No! Oh. This one. Tonight. Very well. You. Tonight on five. Tonight, five. Uh, I'm going back to 505. Oh, wait, they can scream to reduce the damage. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, they sure can, and they're fucking gonna, so, uh, bye, no damage. Bye! That's, that's how it feels. It is how it feels. Anything else, buddy? No. I did aim, so, you know. That's that. Uh, very well. Uh, well. Hmm. This isn't going according to plan. That's ambush him, boys are one dies instantly. <laughs> uh, gets, gets instantly cut down. Uh, yep, this one's gonna fucking leave as you see it crawl up in, into the vents and fuck right off. <laughs> and this one is gonna... You know what? This one is also gonna crawl into the vents. Or try. It's venting. He's venting! He's venting! He succeeds as he fucking sprints up the wall and into the vents! Fuck this! I would like to state for the record 
This is my least favorite mechanic, where you can just make a move check to leave, because it feels like it's always something reaching us. I know, but, I mean, it's not like your XP's running away, and you could do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, they... but it feels dumb. They got it less is. dice based on proximity, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but well, these are fast. Still... Well, I feel like that first one shouldn't have succeeded, then. <laughs> no, I said they're fast. They're very fucking fast. Oh. I guess there is that. Well, anyway, this one can't really do anything except... Die. Uh, put its hands up and, and, and starts, like, slowly crawling away and, like, making little kind of garbled noises that sound kind of like speech, but you can't make it out too well. I grab that thing. We're talking to it. Who's your daddy? And what does he do? I didn't expect you to fucking <laughs> roll all sixes. <laughs> Jesus! Clap cheeks. That was like some shadow run shit where a dude comes up behind you with an Uzi, but you have improved reflexes, so you get to act first. <laughs> no, just imagine like 300 slow mo just fucking. I shouldn't have even put on like the cool fight music. I should have just put on fucking clown music. <laughs> Love me some clown music. <laughs> fucking Christ. Alright, well. And if I didn't have combat veteran, that wouldn't have happened right at the start. And then uh -huh. we never ran away. <laughs> the music was Doom, and then it quickly turned to Mini Hill. <laughs> full of monsters. Alright, you have this creature. It is in bad form. Do I heal it? Uh, yeah. it, it is. It is, like, pitifully crawling away. <laughs> Like, like doing the, you know, scooching backwards while holding its hands up towards you and okay, making gobbled noises. Here? Yes, yes, you have. Sorry, I'll let me get rid of that. I'm gonna walk up to it and just point my gun at it. What languages do you speak? Uh, it, again, kind of... It, it makes gobbled speech. It sounds like words, but you... you you can't make it out very well just because of the way they, they look like they're made. Why is it perfect Latin? Is there like a pen next to the old medical journals that are like everywhere in the room? Uh, I doubt this thing has learned how to write, but it's worth a try, I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's not too hard for you to find something like that. I'll grab one of the medical journals and like a pen and just put it next to it. Okay. It does nothing with it, for it knows not, not what to do. I will write on it. Can you read? Again, it has no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, it clearly can speak. And it has enough high intelligence to try to surrender. You can try to make a comprehend roll uh, after a couple of minutes of it, you know, kind of making kind of little screech noises, and it's it's very limited in the way it's speaking. Of course. You know what? I want to push. I want to know what's going on with the lizard people. Yes, I must know. Four. Well, five, four. One failure. No gear bonus. Go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my no god. Lizard people. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Get my shit ready. All right. So, from what you can gather, it its speech is very limited, and the way it speaks seems to imply that it isn't very intelligent. And I try to mimic its speech. Like, it can it can understand you for the most part, but it isn't good at speaking itself. I'll put away my gun, and I'll crouch down next to it. I want to be friend. No, no hurt. We no need to hurt. Why you attack? No hurt, mother. Say, you baddies. Who, mother? 
Mother. Where, mother? Kinda looks around frantically. A few tears coming out of its eyes. Cagliostro, uh, yes. from what I can understand, it's uh, the voice on the uh, old world intercom told it, told them to attack us. They're actually kind of smart, I guess. They don't really understand complex concepts very well. Sure, I understand, but doesn't that mean they're on the side that's fucking with us? And we don't like them. Uh, yeah, but now I feel kind of bad now that I can understand them. <laughs> Do not can, give in. Can you stop attack? No one hurt. We no want hurt either. I'm oh, sorry. We no hurt e either. Peace in our time. You leave, you okay? We not, we not want her. We not want her. And like gesture to the rest of us. You go. And I'll gesture towards the uh, vent if it wants to leave. Uh, should I hold up my med kit? Oh, wait. It's okay. I will gesture for Cagley too. Go for it. I'm not going to like replace their eye or anything. I'm just going to fix them rig broken. Hopefully not too much. I guess. <laughs> you roll only once and you slit its throat. That's alright. Two's good. Right. It gets two. And uh, as it recovers, you'll see that it will slowly raise a hand and place it over its own eye. And after a few moments, it will remove its hand. And the eye will be fixed. Oh, lizard region. Of course. Oh, it could have no. poked it with the, the poke. You recognize this as your, your mutation. Parasite. Oh my god, they all have parasite as well. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Someone's down here making super soldiers. That's a, a little worrying. Oh. Uh, Not all believe mother good. Maybe. Maybe freedom. We no harm mother. Mother not let you leave. Of course. And then it'll crawl off into the roof. I'll stop it. Well, at least that was kind of nice. He said Mother won't let us leave, so... It's bad. Yeah, well... He said not all of them believe the Mother, but, uh... Wow, um, they appear to have every single good mutation I've seen so far. You know, I did, uh... mention earlier with the skeleton that it felt like Mac was here. Maybe it was one of them. What was Max again? Sorry, I'm spacing out. He fucks with your mind. Mm. It makes you see things very... Uh, unfriendly. What's the fuck? Okay, girl, if she bullied us somehow. They failed to describe Mother very well to me, but... Maybe it's an actual person. It's not really like another elder can't be alive. The elder's still alive after all. Might also be a sneak person. You get the feeling, Maytag, that they have basically the intelligence of children. Despite yeah. being what looks like full grown. Well, hopefully letting that one go will convince the rest of them to leave us alone.
There was no map of this floor, right? Nope. So I'm gonna, like, I really want to find, like, uh, if they have, like, a, what do you call it, like, a surgery area. Me checking my own medical log. Yeah, I'm a, I'll pocket my own medical log after Thank reading you. it. Yeah, sure. Find it. Exciting stuff. Easily oh, done. Okay. <laughs> you like this room is honest. <laughs> Everyone in my goddamn room. Don't you feel honored? I do. I really do. But after that occurred, you may continue on your path. I will just pop you all off here for now because you're not needed. So, is that? I'm just gonna mute myself until they leave. Understandable. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Pick. It is already midnight. That is kind of late. We'll see you today, I guess. I am a very physical labor intensive week. I moved like hundreds of pounds of car parts today out of guy's shed. Jesus. So... Are you uh paid for it? No, I'm just helping my dad. He bought a bunch of stuff from a, a friend of his. Car stuff. Just car things. I mean, basically like the heaviest parts of cars, like a uh, an engine block without the pistons in it. Uh, that one was made out of aluminum, so you could actually lift it yourself. <laughs> Aluminum. Parts of a, a wheel. Alright, Justin, we all just in the middle of that, can I? Yeah, Alright, okay. Gotcha. Well, um. Oh, he fucked. He's some bitch. <laughs> Alright, well, with all that out of the way, you have met some other what looks like mutants. So you may continue on your path. Oh, fuck. This might be a waste of time, but I sort of want to read every single one of the names. Uh, How long the... would that take? The Very game. long. Very long. Mm. There are hundreds. Ugh. Like yeah. You will eventually find your own name, and Pena's. Yeah, consider I'm, I'm looking for a different name. What name? Ophelia. If you would like to look, it's going to take you a while. Hmm... Because these are all cages stacked three stories high. To be fair, we have nothing but time right now. This is true. And I actually kind of do. Well, actually, to be fair, I don't really know what good seeing Ophelia's log will actually do, but I am kind of curious, I guess. Like, I don't know if Ophelia was a specific child, or it was like the name of. Because the doctor called it Project Ophelia. Yeah. I don't know if Ophelia was like one child. Because my theory is that Ophelia is mother. Right, right, right. Not a bad theory. Okay, okay. You can look around. Um, so how are you guys going to go about this? We have some people start in the middle of the room. It's like arranged in rows. Mm -hmm. Some people start at like the, the left end and the right end. Then we just kind of all work our way around from there. So we all are covering ground. Okay. So this is going to take a while. Like you're we just looking for names that are familiar. We're looking for the name Ophelia. Oh, just okay. Because from like the really old video, like the only video log we ever found was a video of Project Ophelia and like the girl being experimented on. True. Yeah. Okay. So you can do that, and it's going to take you a little over an hour at some point. Sub. You don't see the name. 
some point you see just what looks like a little girl in a cage. Blonde hair, facing away from you, kind of humming to herself, playing with a toy. You're all being fucked. Is the cage closed? The cage door is open. Is there anyone else near me at the moment? For the ground, mm, like... No. And Sub said he thinks this probably isn't real. But he's just going to softly call out. Hey. The humming continues. But they kind of tilt their head a bit like they're listening. Are there any notes on this cage? There are none that you can see. There's a medical journal. Grab that. Okay. I keep, like, keep her in the corner of my eye as I look at the journal. Alright. You will open the journal and as you open it there are no pages it is as if there is black ichor just falling out of the book as you look back up towards the girl you'll see that she turns her head and continues humming as there are no eyes in her head they are gouged out what the fuck I was going to shake a little bit. And he's just going to try to put his hand on her shoulder. I want to help you. Your hand goes through her shoulder. And like fog, she evaporates at your touch. You look down at the book, there is no echo. Instead, it just simply says, Jerry. Well, Jerry! <laughs> you found Jerry the Man Beast's cage. I'll just hang the book back up. to catch my breath. As for the rest of your search, it is uneventful. You do not find the filial. Damn. Well, there are a bunch of other Eden facilities. Probably is one of the other ones where that video got taken. Oh, it could actually be somewhere else in this building. Who knows? Yeah, we haven't finished yet. Since she was the first, she might not have been stored in here with us. It is weird, though. I don't really remember this room very well, either. We probably spent a long time in here. I remember creepy shit. Although, if that uh, childish drawing is anything to go by... We probably all were administered a lot of weird things the ancients made. They messed with our perceptions. Well, is everybody done in here? So. You know. I'm actually remembering way back when. That worm thing was also called Mother, that I saw from the obelisk. Well, I think the worm thing is in here. Well, we assumed the worm thing was in uh, one of the outposts. 
Also, yeah, I don't I think the worm thing is the one that's been using the computers and the cameras. I mean, I don't know how to talk to me, so... I... My perception wasn't very good when I was in that trance, so... Who knows, I'm just going off of a theory. I really hope it isn't here. I'd be happy if it wasn't. Have we seen any dead worms anywhere? You have seen no sign of any dead worms. Alright. The Mimir logo still comes up frequently on the walls, however. Why did they put the logo up so many times? Branding. Maybe they forgot easily. Yeah. You may continue on your path, should you wish. Yeah, let's go. Da -da -da -da. So, holy wishbone. You will get to about here, where you will need to go through another door. Can we try to I... break the door preemptively? <laughs> uh, as you come to this door, Chester, you will see a slight movement out of the corner of your eyes. Oh, uh, whip up the gun. You whip up the gun. Anything there? You know the movie Predator? Shut the fuck up. Oh no. <laughs> It's kind of like that, where it's like there is a figure there, but they're camouflaged with their background in a way that the light almost bends around them, but not the same way that Saab does. Okay, well, I'm just going to figure it's a mutant, and I'm going to yell, SHOW YOURSELF! And the predator actually steps out. <gasps> I'm prepared for death. Okay, so... You will see. What are you buying? You will see some shaky hands appear out of almost nowhere as they change color from the background to that of just human skin. As does, a person appears. Dude, damn it! Wasn't a robot. He is dressed in very. Very little. Almost nothing at all. He's got like some sort of chameleon ability. Yeah. As I try to find his fucking sheet again. Here we go. Uh, I, I don't mean you any harm. You speak, you speak English. I, I speak. I've been watching you since you first got here either one that's been talking to us through the computers no 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 what about the lizards you're not with them they're the omegas at least that's what she calls them oh, oh what <laughs> who are you we From are the arc yeah if you arc. look further down the hall of those cages we came out of those i did too i i'm endel Brother. Amendo, I've been here. I've been here since, since the beginning. Did, did they leave you here? I got left behind in the confusion. I see. But I saw a recording of it. Everybody seemed pretty relaxed when we were leaving. I uh, I saw you before you were you were trapped. I I got you out. Oh, oh you see. did. Can you tell us how you did that for future reference? They have uh, uh, terminals, these uh, computers, the buttons, the screens, and they—if you know the right ones to push, 
I do things. Oh, yeah, one of those. Anyways, um... Probably stands out. Ah, Maytag. Nice uh, to meet you. I suppose we probably met a really long time ago, but to be honest, I don't remember much about the cage part of my life. So, how, what have you been eating down here? There doesn't seem to be very much here. I eat scraps where I can. The occasional rat. I knew there were rats down here. Understandable. I fucking called it! Never been outside. Well, if we might have lived through this entire thing, you can come with us back to the Ark. To are here to stop Retzius. Well, to be honest, I originally came here to try to figure out why the Elder left in the first place. Sorry, what was that name you just said? Uh, Retzius. The Doctor. They in control of the... Is Mother, like, one of the original doctors? I pull out the photo. Is is it her? He points at the lady in the photo. That's Dr. Retzius. Oh, no. That's Mother? That's she's still they alive? They call her Mother. Oh, my, she's still alive? The Elder's barely holding on to life. How is she... What the fuck? ...commanding people? She's old, but she still runs this place. And there are a couple of the others. They don't. They they don't come out very much though. Wait, are those are the lizard people the other children that were here? She doesn't let them. We're, in a in a way, we're we're all prisoners here. Interesting. My original guess that there was an actual living ancient down here, but I didn't think it was going to be real. Although I also didn't think they'd try to kill me, so... I suppose I'd lose that one. Do you know anything else about why she's still down here, trying to keep other people out? I'm not sure. I've always kept my distance. I've seen a few things, heard a few things, but nothing all that clear. I just yeah, stay low. Mentioned. The Elder she... mentioned the Titan powers. I don't know exactly what that is. What means. I'm not sure what that is. I suspect one of them is here, whatever it means. Uh, Retzius doesn't know I'm here. You can't let her know I'm here. And I won't. You can go back to hiding if you want. I don't. I. I, I want to help, but I, I can't. I can't help very well. I, I don't want to be spotted. You can help from the terminals, can't you? Yeah. Uh, I could. Just do that. Look out on you, okay? I'll, uh, I can, I can also look out for you on the terminals and the screens. Were you, uh, were you the one following us upstairs? I saw you when you first entered on the, the upper circle. Yes. Did you, uh, mess with my head? No, 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 no. What the fuck? Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe. Oh, yeah, no, I don't have any hallucinations. I feel pretty alright. Look, if you're... If you really helped us out of that door, then... We have no issue with you. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll keep... Keep an eye out... For you, but... I hope that I can get out of here when... You're all done. Well, be careful. The doctor is not what she used to be. Don't underestimate her. We'll be careful. Uh, back in the there was a dormitory that was an escape tunnel somewhere else. Uh, the oh, tunnels yeah. they lead very deep. I've never been too far. Oh, uh, down. I'm too scared to. If I get lost in there, I'll never make it back. Well, to be fair, escape from me. Leads to an even deeper facility. 
ability. It leads to the, the Minecraft trash can, which is some lava. <laughs> No, the the incinerator is back upstairs. So some kind of killer robot. No, it's like a big uh, fire thing. Okay, oh. so you haven't seen any giant machines wielding weapons walking around. No, no, no. I try to stay in the upper circle where they don't know I'm here. Anyways, if we make it through with this, you can come with us back to the Ark. It isn't much, but it's home. Any freedom would be nice. I mean, you don't have to come back no longer. But, you know, I formally extend my invitation. Ork. I appreciate it. But now I'm Anyways, going to... Do you, do you want to eat some actual food? The rough yeah. food in here. Yeah. Looks nervous as if saying yes is bad. Oh, I'll oh, hand him one of like, the cans. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, I'm going to blow this man's mind. Twinkie. Twinkie. I give him a starburst lolly. <gasps> give him a starburst That's going to kill him. Yeah, I give him a packet. He gets a sugar hit, has a heart attack, dies. Oh, I killed him. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he looks cautious. Like, he's not sure if he should accept or not. I ate one in front of him and then handed the rest to him. He'll take it again, cautiously, like he isn't sure he wants to be too close to you guys, as he has kept his distance this whole time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he'll he'll eat it. He, his face kind of lights up, but um, I I should go before she sees. As you'll see that his skin starts to change color to fade in with his environment as he fades into the wall and begins to leave. There he goes. Oh, yep, bye. And within seconds of him walking down the wall, like the hallway, he, he, you can't make out where he is. He's gone. It's really nice just to disappear like that forever whenever you want. Make it really easy for people not to burn down your house. Yeah. Well, you know, at the end of all this, we might have a better home here. Although I feel like we're going to end up having to kill them. And return whatever her name was. This place might be safe, but it does not seem super livable. Oh, the dogs are just whining. They're like, I don't like hey. this man. I will spell him. Redzius. Oh, wait. But where, where's the gold photo? Like, this doesn't really look like she has blonde hair, but she might have. There was also a, a, a female doctor that came with us. So, she might just not be in that photo. Yeah, it's true. But I mean, you know, considering the children's drawing is the, you know, the scary woman is administering medicine, and then in the old photograph, there's only one female doctor, and then the currently surviving mutants are an omega strain of hyper-powerful mutant that are loyal mm. to her. I feel like that uh, the dots are kind of connecting, that uh, she probably mutated all of us to the state we're in now. So, and I guess she probably turned the leftovers into those lizard people. Also, I don't think she's uh, entirely human. You will be able to pass through the next door without issue. Not far beyond this door looks like a small room that looks like it's seen frequent use. Oh. Looks more like a bedroom, and it has a terminal in there that is still lit up. 
read it. Yes, I would like to operate the terminal. Make me a comprehend check. Yes, uh, can we assist each other's comprehend checks? You can, because, you know, you fuck around with buttons and someone goes, Ah, oh, yes, what about that one? Oh. Have you heard uh, of button? Look at me. <laughs> what you have? Lord of Button. You, you will mess around with the terminal for a little bit. And you will find some locks. Oh my god. I will. The GTFO. No, I have to read them now. Yes. You have to read it now. The hand touches the beacon. On a straight move. Phase one is complete. Everything is going according to plan. Proposed sites for the arcs of Project Eden and World Sam approved. The growth of the test subjects are within expected parameters. They must be planted in the wild at a young age so we can study the effects of the toxins and radiations on the mitosis in their bodies. We are humanity's heroes. Professor Atwood was our savior, not our executioner. When we finish his work, Mimir will understand. Everyone will understand. History will prove us right. May 21st. The test subject exhibit unexpected and irregular behavior. Fits of insubordination and violence, combined with their hypergenetic abilities, pose a direct security risk. I have installed Director Sabitus and stall defense mechanisms in the facility using a fentanyl-based gas, high voltage, and microwaves to protect the science team. In all probability, it's just a temporary phase. The insubordination of the test subject is escalating. Dr. Alope passed away this morning after yesterday's attack from a test subject inhaling, exhaling ignited gases at him. <laughs> Three test subjects were terminated by Dr. Sabin. Chester? Wave traps. Mm. Adequate functionality. June 9th. A total of 23 su test subjects have now been terminated in total. Some individuals in the science team exhibit lapses of loyalty. Today I revealed the genetic security mechanism that is wired into every test subject of Project Eden. Even. Well, that sounds Eden. bad. Mm, security mechanism that is security wired into mechanism. every test subject. And this oh. is the second page. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. So, so first we need to reminisce on the first page. That explains the world's assholes to each other. Uh. Mutation made us violent. You are all unstable by nature. When reaching a sexually mature age, they will be unable to reproduce with each other, in order to avoid an uncontrolled population growth. Dr. Sabitus' emotional response can only be described as unprofessional. So my decision is made. The test subjects must be terminated. After last night's riot that cost nine science team members their lives, there is no other choice. The test subjects are much too unstable to be released into the external environment. The fault is mine. We must start over. Project Eden is too important to take any chances. June 18th. The science team members protest against my decision. Their emotional bonds to the test subjects have grown too strong for them to react rationally. I will not change my mind. They cannot stop me. My personal research assistants will follow my orders. The terminations will commence tomorrow. June 19th, mutiny. During the night, the entire science team, Dr. Sabitus, Dr. Barnabas, Dr. Thaddeus, Dr. Lucas, and Dr. Nathaniel, have left Eden with all of the test subjects and almost all of my research assistants. Only a few loyal individuals remain by my side. I could not stop them. June 23rd. After a re-evaluation of the current situation, the decision is made. Project Eden will continue. New test subject with improved genetic code will be created. Created? The snake people. So, in that was Dr. Sebadias. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> that's the elder. elder. That's our dad. Dr. Barnabas, Dr. Thaddeus, Dr. Lewis, no. Dr. Nathaniel. That really does explain why he didn't want us to come here. Well, he saved us, right? It seems so. I guess we were the failed first step in an experiment to repopulate the world after the plague. Are those lizard people supposed to be the successful one? 
not very good at their job. Dr. Well, Rutsius was going to kill all of us. I mean... But that, that explains so much. We're naturally violent, so that, that's why we never really get along all the way. Mm. So we've experienced the gas, we haven't experienced the voltage in the microwaves. And based on the description, it seems like the microwaves killed a whole bunch of us already. The microwaves I've like... seen are those small boxes. I don't think we could fit in them. I guess anyway. they could fit the children in them. Oh. Well, I don't know why you bother to stuff a child into a microwave. No one wants a microwave. Well, it's if definitely... they just made a room that was a really big microwave, though. My god, you think the ancients could do that? I mean, she's apparently making people out of nothing based on the last entry. So probably. Shot for room sized microwaves. I'm more concerned with this part. I'll point to the uh, genetic security mechanism that oh, is yeah. wired into yeah. every test subject. <laughs> That's real bad. Well, no, actually, based on the entries, it wasn't entirely clear because there was a break. The genetic security mechanism is us not being able to reproduce. Oh, it, it is uh... a bit killer mode. Yeah, what that's, if it... that's correct. From okay, it's genetic... a security mechanism so that we can't just go make a billion mutants. They're the reason we're sterile. I wonder though, is it once it's done, it's done? Or is it constantly having to do something and if we get it removed somehow? Because it is a genetic a gene. Give me back my ball. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my balls? <laughs> Where are my balls, Retzius? What we've learned about the ancients, I feel it might be possible that we weren't the failed first batch, rather, we were too successful. I don't know, I mean, there doesn't really seem to be very much gap here, and based on the uh, drawing that, uh... Well, obviously, I mean, had... same, same group, I mean, these but... things that They've replaced us with, a, like, children. This is well, uh, fascinating in general. We, we don't have ancestors. We, we were created. That also explains our very strange names. They probably ran like, out of names after the first 20 or so. I always thought that we were just survivors of the ancients just lost our history along the way. Yeah, to be honest, my original theory was that uh, our parents had died in the plague and we were taken in and used as test subjects, but I suppose they might not actually be too far off from the truth, really. Considering that those lizard people all looked relatively identical while we all maintained a high level of difference, we might have actually all been Simply, child survivors, first of all. Among the refugees they took in. <sighs> really has a lot to take in that they were even planning to kill us. No, well, not all of us. <laughs> they were Marcus. planning to kill all of us. <laughs> Good old elder had our backs. I suppose not everybody's down with killing you. Three hundred children. I get why he want, didn't want to tell us any of this. Yeah, trying to explain this to us would probably result in us uh, rioting and killing him. Or just not believing him flat out, considering his state. Excuse me. No. <laughs> Wait, there was fentanyl based gas? We can go do some fentanyl? No, no. Fentanyl? Yes. Gets, it's free. As soon as we no, find... no, I have addiction, please. <laughs> so, as soon as we find where they keep the fentanyl, it's all over. 
<laughs> Bring fentanyl back into the art. New art project completed. Drug addiction. <laughs> Find, like, just the vet of fentanyl, start drinking it. <laughs> Don't drink the medicine juice. Rod eater. <laughs> Is there anything else in this room other than the terminal? Considering it's being constantly used in this entry, seems really old. No, it just seems like it's used for the sleeping terminal, and that's about it. Do you think that the lady sleeps in here? I doubt you know. She knows we're here, so she probably won't come out to sleep in here while we're in here. Probably. You said Humphrey was looking for a key. Why wouldn't she have a key? Humphrey? The guy with the worm. But his name was oh, Humphrey? Yeah. Yeah, I, at this point, I'm pretty certain they did isn't the same thing. Might not be. Well, since the other guy, since uh, that individual had seen them, and they were an ancient, you know, old woman, it definitely isn't the colossal worm that uh, crushed me, so. Yeah, and none of those uh, little lizard children had worms on them. Also, to be fair, the if those lizard children were on par with Humphrey. He probably would have. We probably would have just died right there. He was a league above us. They, those lizards seem to just be the versions of us with consistent mutations, bad intelligence, and loyalty, which seems to be what. His researcher wanted in the end was loyalty and power. I did fuck all for them. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like they got very far with their plan. That's you know, actually, if you think about it. it, if we have some way to be able to write on the wall, we could probably actually ask them questions, considering they seem to be able to talk to us and they watch us through the camera. Is there a whiteboard? Yeah, is there any like place where we can like write stuff? Anywhere if you shit yourself. I mean, you could technically write anywhere if you like. But this is just one small room as uh, the corridor winds back around. Is it like, um, is there any camera that's like close enough to the ground that we can like hold up a piece of paper close to it? Yeah. Not the face. Yeah, you so could. Like could actually read it. Out in the corridor, yeah, you could. Yeah, right. Alright, what was the Elder's name again? The Elder's name was Dr. Sebadias, but if you were talking about the one that you think might be here, it's Dr. Retzius. Yeah, I know that. I was just, you know... Alright, so what do we want to ask them? Let's see. Well, I... I don't know if we should ask them anything. We know they want us dead. Well, they want us to leave. They don't really want us dead, so to speak. They wanted us dead before, but now it doesn't really matter. Doctor wants us dead. That's why so she sent the lizards after us. They know we'll all die if they just wait anyway. I mean, yeah, to be fair, we could just leave and go wait ten years. Surely old age is prone. Well, I mean, you know, we will all die out. And they are well should be well aware of that. If these notes are anything to go by. They are somehow creating people. If you think about it, it could be like our own, you know, Actual gateway to continue our people in a way. We could just make more. It'd be a thing we do. That is assuming that the machinery still works and we have a source of power for it, but. Got some done here working.
Is that what he's doing? Yeah, to be honest, actually asking them any questions probably won't get them anywhere other than much angrier at us. Like, hey, Dr. Sevadias is doing great. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> he's in love right. with 250, no, 230 people. A lot of us have died, but you know. That son of a bitch stole my Tamagotchi when he left. What? Oh, it's the West. Wait, you, don't, you don't know what a Tamagotchi is? Oh my god. Which one of us was the Tamagotchi? Clearly Maytag. He knows how to make <laughs> shit. So. We're all Tamagotchis. You are unable to get through the next door. <laughs> but you figure from your use of the previous terminal that you might be able to get it open from there. Yeah, all right. So you are welcome to try. Sure. Okay. But, uh, you already made your check anyway, so after a couple of minutes, you figure it out, and in the uh, not too far away, you hear that distant like of the of the door opening up as you uh, have opened it. It's not actually really that hard to do. Inside the next room. Microwave. Oh. Nope. Inside the next room. What the fuck? It's black. Uh, give me just a second. It's big and it's black and I'm small. I have dark vision. <laughs> you don't need dark vision. Everything's Ooh. lit up. Is it though? Yo! Hello. Cryo chamber. Cloning vets. Let's go. Oh, I recognize all of these assets. Yes, this is so easy to use. Looking like some Starfinder shit in here. I strap keg lead to the first one I find. Oh, I clone nah. him repeatedly. No, let's open one of the crowbats and steal a baby and then close it. All right, Cagliostro, are you looking into that one? Yep, I'm smushing my face up against the glass. This room is incredibly cold, by the way. They are crowbats. It. You will see that the glass of this is frosted over on the outside and you kind of wipe away at it a little bit and put your face close and you can see inside is what looks like the face of a woman. Frozen solid. Uh, an adult woman? Recognizable? Adult woman. You do not recognize them. The an ancient of some kind. The existence? I'd like to check the computer. You can check the computer and see that this is the cryo lab. Out of the ten oh. pods that are here, you'll see that only three of them have people in them. That's where. Does it say their names? It does. Dr. Reddick, Dr. Solan, and Dr. Melvin. What the fuck? There's three doctors in here. Does it say if they're still alive? It does. You can see that there is a vitals sign that shows that they are all stable and alive. Is it responsible of me to try to defrost these three doctors? Yes. You no, may wish. but you should. You should talk to one. Yeah, to be honest. Mm. I don't know. Reddick, Salon, and what? Uh, it is Riddick. Sorry, Reddick. Let me just type them out for you. How about that? Yeah, Riddick. Riddick. I was like, damn. Are you Vin Diesel out here? <laughs> Get Vin Diesel out there and he starts kicking ass. I am. Your ass. <laughs> Alright, which one should I try? That's a tough I'll choice. I'll roll D4 to see which one I go for. Reddick it is. My yeah. first choice. Alright. Wait, why'd you roll a D4? It's weighted. Yeah. Okay, then. There, there's, there's four of them. They just typed. 
no, no. three. Darker Sebadias was um. Sebadias is the angel, the the old. Oh, true, <laughs> yeah. yeah, two would be Solan. But we could take the elder back here. We could preserve him for future. No, <laughs> this technology is completely like alien to you. You have no fucking clue. Uh, this is beyond your imagination. Freeze me up. We just slap him in the tube and he fucking lives forever. The fact that these people are frozen solid and somehow still alive, according to this terminal, is baffling. Do you think we're gonna kill them with the plague when we open it? Hell no. The elder isn't dead from the plague. Is there any notes on it that say "Don't unfreeze me, please"? No. The terminal is not covered in dust, and the uh, cryopods that they are in appear to also not be covered in dust, as if they have been used somewhat frequently anyway. Wait. Maybe Why this me? is how she's still alive. Wait. That wouldn't really make any sense. Do you think she just swapped herself in the freezer for a while? Maybe. Well, if she has to wait for her test subjects to uh, grow up, maybe. Well, I guess it would also make sense that this room didn't have any dust in it, because, you know, after one dusting, not very many people spend a lot of time in the cr sealed cryo room. <laughs> so, you know, there's not really much time to accumulate dust in it. Anyways, yeah, I will try to make Riddick alive. Okay. This is a comprehend check. You may have other people assist you. Yeah, Actually, I would like assistance. I will absolutely assist. Do, do the thing, Kegley. Do the super assist. Max level assist. Please don't fuck this up. I don't want to kill Dr. Riddick. I need Vin Diesel. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Light push. Ooh. It's fine. Yeah, three extra dice on this, plus I'm assuming three other people who are helping, which will yep. also count for Django and Kaga. Oh yeah, baby. I know how a computer works. Alright. You carefully, carefully navigate your way through the controls and manage to Complete the uh the defrosting sequence without fucking it up. Oh, I also assume there's a camera in here. There is. I'd like to smile and wave at the camera. Uh, you may do so. I can only assume she's sitting in there, like on the camera, like they're just gonna kill my colleagues. Like that's probably camera. what they think. But she's in one of them with like an iPad, like fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> this one's just like cracked open a tiny bit. Yeah, she, she's corner. like zooming in, like wait, wait, is he, is he actually doing it successfully? He isn't killing him. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> with that, you will hear the kissing of the container depressurizing as it also heats up steam like starts pouring out as the front of it will kind of unlock like kind of collapse outwards and then uh flip up and over onto the wall so it sits there and you will see dr reddick oh we picked the girl damn that doesn't look like Vin Diesel. Put her back. <laughs> I mean, there's one person in here I wish you'd picked because it's very funny. <laughs> but hey, hey, live all all of them. To be can. fair, I might end up opening all of them depending on what this person says, you know. Uh, they do not appear conscious at the moment, as they like are still healed. You know. Check them. Uh, they, they, they're not hurt. They're perfectly fine. Why aren't they awake? Uh, they are defrosting, and they are waking up. Oh, okay. Get off his face. I'm so glad you succeeded that comprehend roll. <laughs> How badly would they have died if I failed? Completely and utterly. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and they'd probably all die as well. Let's see, I've got this here. It... I still yeah. understand it enough now that I don't even need to make a check for the rest of the people. It's, it's just. Oh no, you need to make a check every time. Oh my god. <laughs> Good luck. Well, so... Hopefully, she can do it for us. Yeah, that's 
That's actually a good point. She probably knows how the computer works. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm just sitting here like a, a boomer trying to use the computer, like, oh, do I get to crow? <laughs> 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 you press the button on the desktop. What's a desktop? My desk has no buttons on it. <laughs> so you'll see that Dr. Riddick gets very shakily, kind of starts to lean themselves up and tries to get out of the uh, cryopod, which it looks like they have a great deal of difficulty with as they fall out of it onto the floor and throw up. Yeah. Uh, good, good morning. They are, yes. My whole neck. Yeah, my whole... Michael. Nice. God, imagine waking up. This is like some horrific scenario. You go into the cryopod probably when everything yeah. was great, and you wake up to like a bunch of wastelanders. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah. couple wild dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we look like we're acting. We're actively dying from radiation Kitnam, who's poisoning. Mutated again. Yeah, Kitnam is the scariest. Got my antennae and my kindness back. I need kindness back. Kindness back. Kindness back. Ribs. Yeah. Extra real. No, don't don't point your gun at them. <laughs> They're not an armed body. <laughs> I don't care. A lot of these people wanted us dead, and they're the reason yeah. we're all gonna die. He's right, you know. It's the technical inevitability of mortality. Yeah, but we don't get kids. So... Unless we sit in one of these forever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're all change. gonna die, and then there'll be none left. Oh, yeah. I mean... Who knows, maybe they can reverse it somehow. Well, people tend to be a little more inclined to do things for you under threat of death. Yeah, I guess to be fair, I don't know. I don't have room to talk. I point my gun at everything before I talk to it. That's just that's how true. they made us, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like violent. yeah but that's pretty on par. <laughs> Sigh. Typical woman moment. Oh. Hey, I don't have a name. Yeah, you don't. What? I don't know. I can see your name, so. so. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> hmm, I could. I'm also doing Ooh. a health bar, but I like it better that way. I can't go. Health bars aren't it. very important in this. The sob token looks like God of War. <laughs> Just imagine like the epic music playing while the circle is above her head as she's getting out of the cryopod and you walk over. <laughs> Ooh, slamming her into the fucking desk. <laughs> Read it. We're we're right waiting in real time. Yeah. This she's is she's, she's still she's still oh, defrosting. Yeah. Her vision's growing up. Man. All right, I'm just gonna ignore them. All right, so Doctor Reddick is uh, throws up a little bit and seems to really struggle to get to her feet. She she is quite young. Looks around, maybe in her late twenties. She. I guess stand up just for the sake of expediting this all right she will she will like take your hand uh for for a moment um thank you thank you doc, doctor and then looks at you before kind of screaming a little bit and falling back over towards towards the cryopod wait until she sees the rest of us Hello, doctor Hello, we're the mutants uh she she's shaking but she she's having trouble kind of like focusing or doing much in general to begin with. It just seems like something is wrong with her. 
I suppose being frozen solid does a lot to you, doesn't it? You're not Dr. Retzius? Nope. Who, who are you guys? I'm Maytag. Do you remember me? Not sure about a Maytag. Dr. Uh, Sabadias sent us here. Yeah, do you remember Dr. Sebadias? Sebadias. Sebadias. Dr. Sebadias left a long time ago. Yep, he did. With a, with a bunch of mutant kids, didn't he? Yeah, did you miss us? It's been a while. The kids? You're the kids? We're at home. You came back. In search of answers. Do you have any? That this place is dangerous. Shouldn't be here. Everywhere in this entire godforsaken world is dangerous. Saying that is useless as a qualifier. They got you out to save you. Honestly, I'd rather be in here than face the... What do, we, what do we even call it? The worm horde? Yeah, we got the worm horde, we got the giant blue rot god kaiju. Anyway, the worm we, god. we figured out that we can't reproduce, so our line is going to die out anyway. We'd like to figure out why. That was Retzius' idea. Yes, we did figure that part out. Is Dr. Retzius, like, unfreezing you frequently for discussions or something? The doctor freezes and unfreezes us a lot. Why? It... So that she can keep us informed to continue her project. Uh, I assume her project is the weird green lizard things that can barely speak. It's hard to follow. Everything fuzzy. Oh, because you were frozen, or just, you know? I don't. She was crazy. A bit of both. Yeah, well, I kind of got the crazy part from, you know? Her wanting to kill all of us just because we're a little bit aggressive. He doesn't let us out often. Well, if you want to unfreeze all your friends, you can come with us, maybe. Yes, it seems that it. your prisoners here, you want to leave. He kind of looks around and sees the camera in the corner and she gives like a, a, a small nod. Camera at us. To, to you guys. She looks well, more scared of the camera. Well, we're gonna probably end up having to deal with her, but if you wanna I assume you understand how the cryo thing works, the computer. Uh she'll she'll Yeah. I can work it. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't manage to kill anybody using it, since <laughs> that's my uh, second time using a computer in my entire life. It's impressive your learning capabilities. Yeah. Is she like shivering? Is she like cold as fuck? She does look like she's shaking, but it <laughs> doesn't yeah. seem like it's from the cold. Right, I'm gonna take my jacket off and give it to her. A biker jacket. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you can put that on her. As you put it on her, though, you can feel that her skin is warm to the touch. You're thirsty. Hungry. I'm fine. Thank you. She How long she'll do you think it's been. I don't know. I, we don't get unfrozen too much, but enough. That it's also said the dies. It's pretty old now. Yeah. 
yeah, this person looks quite young, whereas Sebadias looks like he's like fucking age. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you put two and two together, when we were here, we were children. Yeah, we're... Now we're this old. I guess, yeah, the difference in age between her and him is probably about the span of our lives, so... 20 or so years, maybe. More, probably. So anyways, while we're here and we're, we're having a cordial discussion, um... Were we, like, children from, like, all of the people trying to get in here frantically, or were we, like, creating no. a cube? No. You were meant to be the best of us. You'll find out, as she'll try to weakly stand. I will once again try to help her out. Uh, a little bit, a little, a little frightened, but she will let you this time, knowing that this is not the doctor. And she will make her way over to the terminal. Where she herself... It looks as if just simply moving and pressing these buttons is a great deal of strain on her. Maybe you should take a break before you mess something up. I so know. I'll, the procedure. Yeah, I'll, rather... I'll watch her press the buttons just so I know. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it takes her a couple of minutes as she's a uh, slow at doing this and her hands are shaky uh but after a couple of minutes you will see that the other two cryopods will uh make that familiar hissing noise will begin to warm up as the doors then flick open as the first one did and the rest of the cast why not let's see as you see Dr. Solan. Oh, another woman. And Dr. Melvin, who is also Pedro Pascal. Oh! Oh, really? <laughs> oh, God, these uh, yeah, baby! These scientists are so attractive! Oh, is that legit <laughs> just the picture they provided? That, that's the picture I chose, because I was like, haha, I want funny. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's, it's oh, yeah, that's good. But then this is a picture of uh, Dr. Solan, yeah. who is quite young. It looks like she's around your age. She looks uh, like she might be a turf. <laughs> Her hair what? don't look right. Her hair is very fuzzy, very frizzy. And also not connected. Don't think about it. <laughs> it's a wig, she's bald, don't judge her. <laughs> it's actively yeah. falling out. Yeah, Pedro, Pedro Pascal tells you not to not to judge Shalan. Also, that okay, he's I'll, I'll, I'll listen to everything he says. <laughs> Yes, Daddy. <laughs> uh, after a bit, they will unfreeze. What the hell? Oh, I pressed Control Z and she fucking flew over there. Whoops. Mm -hmm. I bet it on at least a one inch and being alive, not all four. It was fun. not there. Oh, there's another one above. Uh... All of you? No. No, that's right, yes. Well, yeah. We, have, we, we had a... We, we had a male voice over the PA, right? No, you heard a female voice. Oh, okay. <laughs> so anyways, so, welcome back, you two. Uh, they're just as shocked as Reddick was. They also fall out of the cryo chambers and throw up. I mean, this place is so clean, considering how you just vomit on the floor every time. We normally clean it ourselves. Anyways, um... I'm here to offer you your once-in-your-lifetime opportunity to not be here. Melvin is gonna look at Reddick and just... Um, I... Dreaming? Come with me. Yeah, hey, do you remember me? I'm Maytag. One of the 300 children. Yo, crouch down and hold out a hand. Uh, he'll, he'll, 
He'll take your hand, but he'll shake his head at Maytag's question. Oh, damn. What's so one of you on uh, the doctor's side? Retzius? Retzius keeps us in here. She's frozen and unfrozen us too many times. Oh, now, now that we have three of you alive, uh, do you know what the Titan powers are? Because uh, Sebadias wouldn't really tell us very much about it. Mm. Can't really think about that one. You can't think. He he. You will notice has also kind of got like the shakes, and looks as feeble as Redick. Yeah, yeah. I guess you were just frozen solid. Salan is also the same as she feebly stands up. They got that cryo sickness. Kinda. Uh. Is this the kind of cryo where they get to keep their clothes? Yeah, yeah, they, they're dressed. Okay, that's good. Uh, they're all butt naked. But it's only you who can see it. You have x-ray mutation. <laughs> but only for ancients. Exactly. <laughs> we went to talk to the elder, you saw him naked. <laughs> he always hated going back there. <laughs> elder, can we talk through a solid screen? <laughs> I guess gonna start pelting them with with fucking questions. Understandable. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lena. Yep. Uh, you you kind of take an interest in the tripod over here. It was made for you. <laughs> This oh, is my yeah. Like I've still got my gun in my hand. I don't trust these guys, but I'll come take a look at it. I could barbecue one of these people if they somehow got the willpower to try something. Uh, you will see that it looks like there is someone else in there. Well, so there was four. And as you well, take a moment to quickly wipe away. The frost covering the glass, you will see Man, you, you look closer and it's yourself in there. Oh. Kind of just a little closer, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm looking at. Uh, you lean in closer, and as you do, you'll see the figure that appears to be yourself inside their eyes open up quickly. As they then have a hand smash through the glass to grab you, and in a matter of blinking, it's all gone again. What the f- like very quickly just put the the gun barrel against the pod I'm like just about to pull the trigger and just move it away again take a deep breath hey hey Lena what are you doing I thought I saw something I'll go and check. Is this pod empty? The pod is indeed empty. So what? Looks like me, honestly. Perhaps your reflection is glass. <sighs> that part would make sense, but... It... 
It's like it smashed her hand through the glass and grabbed me, and then I blinked and it was all normal again. You're not the only one seeing things. Let it get to you. Uh. Is, uh, is she all, all right? Uh, Reddit kind of pointing at Lena. Oh, uh, yeah, Lena seems to get uh, some of the worst of it in terms of, uh, the world, uh, I guess biting back at her. There's a lot of weird stuff going on these days. She'll be alright, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Alright. Like, yeah, she had like a wire man following her around. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll trust it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Anyways. Will you three be all right? We need to go uh, deal with this. We'll need a bit to recover a little. We'll probably be a bit. But we can help a little. <laughs> what were you saying, sir? I was going to say maybe Geiger could wait here, keep an eye on them. I would be... Uh, I, I I greatly appreciate the opportunity to speak with some ancients. I could record some of their their findings, or, or anything about them. Uh, maybe Django should wait here and keep an eye. <laughs> but 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 I, I my book. As he's like holding up a book, as, as he's been writing. <laughs> Does Geiger have weapons? No, he has a slingshot. Okay, because I I I, I don't trust play. this guy. Because he said, no, I don't want to go with you. I didn't. Which is, you said he looked up and shook his head when Maytag said, you guys want to come with us? Ah, uh, no, you're shaking his head at the other, but like, do you recognize? Oh, us? okay. So we cool. Like, these guys look more than willing to want to leave oh, this, okay. this godforsaken place. I, I thought place. he was shaking his head when Maytag said, you know, you want to come with us. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, being... I would probably take any future over being unfrozen from cryo sleep every like, just constantly to be like told some nonsense about some insane bullshit and then like be shoved back in. Good morning. By the way, the project is going well. They spend like an hour telling an essay. All right, back in the freezer. <laughs> that is the literal. That is. The I know. I've turned myself out. into a snake this time. What's up? <laughs> anyway, back in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think it's going to take for you to recover? Because, uh, I'm going to be honest, the stuff wandering around here is probably rather bad. A couple of minutes to get our faculties together. Yeah, all right, let's just wait for that then. All right. It's safe In... for you to be able to defend yourselves. Uh, she's going to sit down for a moment to recover while, uh, uh, Solan will open up the door below you. What's that? I've opened this door f for you. It, it leads to the g genetics lab. Oh, genetics lab. Do we need from there? It's further along. You might find more what you're looking for. Is that where Dr. Ratsia says? Usually where she is. Yeah, I was wondering where we were going to find her. Thanks for the help. Do you want us to do something about her? Yeah, Seems I'm gonna be honest. Problematic. Us meeting her is probably gonna end with me blowing her brains out, or one of us blowing her brains out, or one of us chopping off her head, you know. I just nod at Maytag, like, yeah, that's my plan. She's kind of a bitch, and from her uh, records, it does seem like she wants to kill us anyway, so... You heard of her. Uh -huh. 
she so anyways, uh, has... really mind. Uh, they all kind of shake their head. She's lost it, I think. Yeah, I mean, her little uh, perfect creations, the, the green lizard things, really are quite uh, childish. We are uh, wrap this up quickly. Maybe you guys can speak to the elder before he dies. He'd probably like that. Yeah, Seba dies is still alive. That's good to hear. He's not long as well, though. Very old. That is certainly what we should focus on right now. Well, stay here till they're they aren't shaking and vomiting and uh, dying. The vomiting is uh, something that they've only done once uh, each. Uh, the shaking, however, persists. It's not as bad as when they first got out, but it is there still. I would like to medically examine them. You may make or a Parkinson's healing or some shit. Yeah, you may make a healing check. Huh? Why did it roll a gear dice? I don't know. Yeah, but I, it doesn't matter. Your, your skills already succeeded. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay. So, from what you can gather, freezing and unfreezing someone is generally pretty unnatural. And it seems okay. that the repeated thawing and refreezing of these people may have caused irreparable damage to their brains and nervous systems to the point where they seem to have difficulty carrying out even simple tasks that does make sense yeah it probably says somewhere in the cryo freeze user manual do not repeatedly freeze the same person within like an hour of unfreezing <laughs> and under that in like big texture it says don't tell me what to do <laughs> dr r all scrolled out well, that's Maybe. unfortunate uh the Scientists would prefer to wait here, as they do not feel they would be of much use to you, other than maybe to keep an eye on the terminal. Yeah, I'm if... mostly just making sure that they aren't so weak that a single mutant's gonna walk in here and they're gonna, like, <clears throat> fall over themselves, then die. Can you keep the doors closed? We can keep the doors closed. We can try to make sure Retsy doesn't pull anything else. Yeah, I'm mostly just worried she's gonna try to kill you while we're gone so you know if you can close the doors behind us it'd probably be good for you if there's I, no uh, traps in here we should be fine oh yeah traps by the way their head that i should be worried I about the logs the microwave traps uh what do those look like okay let me go pull that up these i saw in there that it killed six people so i'd kind of like to know what it is i already got the fentanyl gas that one was it's just a room that uh, has a microwave emitter built into the walls. Uh, the doors will lock you in, and then microwaves will be emitted into the room to boil you from the inside out. Sheesh. That sounds probably like one of the worst ways to die. Other than the giant bears. We don't have bears. Well, so this is, is quite bad. Have you been up there? Again? Never. It's quite bad. Yeah, there's uh, bears that are completely silent that can like swallow you whole. I don't think I'll go outside. Eh, don't worry about it. They don't live near us. Just I can't really get the image out of my head. So. All right, Are on. you? What if we show them the 
magical artifact that heals them just by holding it. And they're just like, what the fuck, get that away from me. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, they'll just develop a giant tumor on their face. Is it, is it a 100% placebo effect? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they die. Anyway, if you'd like to continue through the door on the southern side of this room. Yes. I would also like to continue to bed. It seems like a nice stopping point. Alright. Uh. Would you like me to stop you on... Uh, a description of the next room where you may reflect of course. on it. Please horrify sure. us. Hell yeah. yeah. Very well. So, let me just get this up. <laughs> and I will place you. Horrific. You will all appear in this room. Now, you are below this grating as this is a, an upstairs section. And you are all technically below it because you came through the door below it. Uh, oh, it's big. But Django and Cagliostro, no, your Cagliostro, Django and fucking Geiger will uh, offer to stay behind with the uh, the ancients to protect them, just to make sure that nothing happens. Seeing as you guys seem concerned, probably for the best. Yeah. Am I missing it? Want my other gun? Well. More... I'm gone, you know. It's probably better than a slingshot. I'm not very uh, proficient with uh, weapons, but um, I, I can uh, inspire uh, Django to help us. Yeah, Django. Yeah. You can oh, stand out of the way, I guess. So, anyways, um. We're going to blow this old lady's brains out as soon as we see her. Yes. I don't really know if I want to talk to her, to be honest. I don't think she has anything useful to tell us. <laughs> so, you may go to bed in a moment, but... This room, for all of you, looks like an absolute horror show. Inside is just filled with vats filled with some strange greenish liquid along with many different subjects. There are dead mutant infants and fetuses and there are even others that look like they are a blend, a deformed grotesque blend of animal and human that are in these tubes all throughout the room. All of them appear to look like failed experiments, as none of them are alive. Uh, let's see. Let's say, who has a, a, an endurance less than two? Hey, hey now. Skill? Strength? Uh, yeah, which is strength, endurance, less than two, but I mean, if you have the skill endurance... So if I have three strength, is that enough, or like? No, no, no. I mean, if you have any points in endurance, I have itself. zero points. In I have endurance. Zero, zero points. points in... Okay. Um, levels in zero endurance. points also. Uh, but I believe Me. us dog owners can also use sick a dog to endure. Does that count? Negative. Oh yeah. This is to not throw up. Oh well, I throw up then. No, I was gonna say you can just roll. If you if you get it a success, don't throw up. If you don't, then you throw up. Done. That's it. This is a fucking horror oh. show and nothing like you've ever seen. Great. I hold Maytag. it down. Chester does hold not. That. And is fine. Maytag is fine. Cagliostro nice. is fine. Wow. Wow, Chester. Fucking. <laughs> what is oh. this? Who's this? It does not keep it down. <laughs> I, my endure, I have an endure of four. <laughs> it's fine, you managed to hold it. It's because of the prosthetic uh, Chester and, Yeah, Chester and Kitnam begin throwing up. My mask, no! As Chester, oh, you gosh. feel a flashback. Oh no. You feel this flashback as you have this 
imagery of peering out of a vi of this glass tube, looking at people walking around the room. You were so very small at the time. It is but just a flash. Yep, I'm just like collapsed on the ground, heaving. And we'll leave off there as this is this is the room. <laughs> wow. My cool lighting is fucked. What the hell? Seems to be working somewhat. That's really fucked up. That test tube was mine. It was made for me. Uh, something has uh, made the entire room like full brightness. I don't know what. Is me. I turned on my uh, glow stick. Got your uh, daylight mode on. Is it me? Is that why you moved me? Am I emitting light? Are you emitting light? I don't know. I didn't move you. I'm moving yourself. On. Someone moved me. You are not emitting light. What the hell is emitting light? No, I'm gonna delete you all. Fuck off. Okay. It's daytime. I mean, it's nighttime. We can't see. So that's it's definitely nighttime mood. Yeah, it's meant, it's a place that's meant to have Either cool way, lighting. Get, uh, one XP for participating in the session. You do. And that's it. I mean, it that is that is it. Yep. Sure. Surely this counts as explore and you. This, this is old me. Same zone. Same zone. Same yeah. zone. <laughs> Same sector. Man. Rip. I guess we played a session. We get that. One XP. One XP. What the hell is doing it? It was working fine. It's also fine. the VIP of the round. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. The VIP. Uh, Maytag for not killing all of the fucking yeah. scientists. Yeah. Holy. Holy. That's the MVP. I just yep. kill sign. Listen, that was yeah, important as shit. Not kill people. Did anybody else do something? I mean, yeah, I, uh, I had a massive boss. I was like a lot. Stop loving them. One shot a lizard, man. Mm. Yeah. One shot was pretty yeah, cool. I vote sub. That was pretty good. Yeah, sub. Uh, I'm down to no sub for that. That, that, that yeah, was, was very cool. funny. We got ambushed and sub just whacked one. Like, ah, and, fuck you. No. and the rest just ran. What the fuck? <laughs> They killed Frankie! Right. In one hit! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! You see, but we gained plus the lizard people there, because we convinced. We let one of them go and healed him. They're also Trust. scared of the mother as well. Probably because she's fucking abusive. <laughs> Just, kind <laughs> of, Just kind of a bitch. <laughs> we can uh, take the lizard people back with us to the Ark. No, I don't want to. They're weird. Have them creep yeah, around. We, we already got Chameleon Boy and three scientists. I think we've got enough. I can't even fit this many people. Yeah, we will have to throw out a lot of the food if we want to take that many people. I'm sure we can eat. I'm sure we can squeeze in more people really uncomfortably, you know? Just another option. Wrap them I'm not gonna kill you. God, it's nope. such a shit show. To get back. It's like we can't <laughs> they've got a, they've got a helicopter. <laughs> what? Yeah, guys, we're, we're back. We're back from our trip to Eden. By the way, it's a genetic torture facility. We're all like, basically refugees. We were all purposely made to not be <laughs> create children by the scientists. Early, there's like a a chest in here with a potion that brings back out reproduction gene. <laughs> A potion of these fertility. guys are assist are like assistant bioengineers. Maybe they can do something about it. Yeah, to be fair, maybe their brains are kind of damaged, but they might be able to fix it. I mean, yeah, they they do sort of have mind rot. The lady could probably fix it, but I like hell I would ever. It's getting it. greener. I will say, Jesse, I could see a bit of green over here before. Now it's uh, even greener. Why is it so green? <laughs> Good night, buddy. See you. See you. Thanks, buddy. Me trying to fix why it's like fucked. It's meant. 
Let me see, because all these are 10. They shouldn't be 10. Oh my god, I gotta fix them all. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Alrighty, catch ya. Oh Thanks for playing. Bye-bye. What's up? The only other, like, mission is for the test tubes. Alright, Luke. Yo. Now bring her back so we can watch Nier. Dan. Do you want to watch uh, Nier Automata? Automato? Automato. The computer can turn back on. It's right there. That's a pass. Do it. Alright, just <laughs> Not happily there. Mm. Oh. Oh my god, hang on. Josh, Josh actually streamed this time? I fucking know, right? What the hell? What the? Hey, pull yeah. the last one on Yeah, us. session one, boys. Let's go. <laughs> session session one. End of the game. <laughs>